Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? This is Ever ZK, and it's finally time to continue playing some FF7 Rebirth. And hello to Sip Nation. Hello, hello. Got here so much more earlier than before I even anticipated anything. I was like, mm, let, let me just boot it up. Let me, you know, get myself out there. <laughs> and while I was like, you know, typing the message that I'm live, I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, I have to say, yesterday's Tekken session was legit. Yesterday's session of Eddie. Whew. I never imagined playing almost five hours of Eddie could get me into that kind of stance and there was just so much stuff that I needed to do but you know is he looking meta he looks to be breaking the meta that's my honest opinion um, the more that you do play Eddie right now the, um, the worse that you'll find that he is just absolutely trolling I think uh, I think he has how can I put it he has one of the better tools out there that you know, people can be using and abusing a lot more harder than the initial yesterday just after like testing him i was already convinced i was like dude you know you can get a nice 80 damage um guarantee um heat burst combo which is very easy right? it's a very easy thing to do and it's a guaranteed 80 like you know you you'd be trolling yourself if you're actually uh, missing on the combo but yeah i actually think he's Quite broken at this stage. Definitely on the overtune side. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Uh, but we shall see. I definitely saw a lot of people using abusing um, things that they shouldn't be. But hey, you know that, that's just how the game is now. It's actually quite simple uh, for a lot of people to. Let's just say, if you played as a center or Victor in the beginning, and now you're playing, uh, you know Eddie. Hurry it You'll up, be right at home. Yeah, that's the way I see it. You feel right at home. Oh my god, he's got 85 points. Oh. You can just unlock here. Google Smosh. Cool. Mayhem go around. Okay, all the big skills. Oh, wow. I, I stayed up yesterday doing a lot. Like doing a lot of like of the editing, going back into all my clips. I looked at my Cleo, uh, my Cleo, my Leo clips. And I looked at Panda clips, and then I looked at Eddie clips. Jesus, <laughs> it's in it's incomparable. There's just too much stuff that you can and can't do with him. Oh, uh, and then I was looking at was it John Ding, John Ding or Ranchu playing. Let's just say that was nasty. Absolutely nasty. What the? There we go. Don't know why my phone was actually not off normal. Elemental defense, max HP by 200, max MP up by 3. I think we can get the rest. Thanks. Cool. Mm. It's all gibberish to me. Hopefully I can get by a lot more today. Definitely a lot of things I've been lacking behind. A lot of people are finishing this game, which to me, I feel, I feel sorry for. <laughs> it's like, bro, everyone's been finishing. I'm the only one that hasn't been finishing. Man. What? What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Oh. Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? Yeah, Barry, very smooth. He's tough. Tough and can rush masterpiece. And real good That's at true. solving people's problems. We'll right? finish it when we finish it. That is the right that is the right way. Of course I'm soft on kids. 
Helping them's what we do. News to me. Well, mm. what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. And also, oh, originally, a bird of ours? I learned how to play audio. Like yours, mister. I was gonna Funny consider man. ranking him up this week or Junior. rather today. Who's that? Your I don't want to like get into a game yeah, where it's only Eddie, fiend, where I'm versing everyone's Eddie. It's, it will be no like way. the biggest mock up. You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Uh, surprisingly, right. Barry is said there's some very old wholesome. Houses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't oh. you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? All right then. Let's go find our bird buddy. Oh You'll my God! It's a, it's a fish. This is a fetch quest? Oh, that's new. Okay, fast travel there. Fast travel here. Oh, it's all fast travel. Cool. cool. <laughs> that's that's very nice. Thank Christ for that one. Um, might as well. Actually had some really nice dinner, but wow. That was a lot to eat. That was actually quick. <laughs> Why did I bother? <laughs> it was just here. Or maybe the excuse is I can't actually do anything about it. I can't get up here without the buggy. That that could be it. Use that as an excuse. You don't have any bird traps. Oh man. I have to craft it. How's the other barbecue? So you post pictures and you said it was from the other place? That barbecue was crazy. So, um, I guess this is a little bit more revealing about myself. I'm actually married to a Lebanese household. So my wife's Lebo. And the, the barbecue was crazy. There was a lot of lamb skewers, like really fatty, like, you know, those fatty lamb pieces. And there was like a lot of like, you know, really good chicken that was succulent. There was, I bought the prawns, two and a half kilos worth. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oof. I'll tell you right now, that, that was something to behold. Definitely something to behold. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to do so much, but, you know, here we are right after. I was like, I can't eat anymore. And the look they gave me was something, <laughs> it was something akin to like, if you don't eat this, you are offending me. <laughs> uh, which, which is all I needed to know that I, no matter what, under no circumstances, should I say no to anything else. I, I have to eat. And that's being the way to continuously, continuously get fat. No matter how much, you know, work how I'm doing. It's like, oh, you're working out? Uh, what a shame. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm just like, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. That, that, that was... Me. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Um trying to see if i should actually do a barbecue stream on friday so roughly two days could just be another barbecue now, stream because i still got some wait. stuff might as well rig the other traps then so it's good to feel work out. sorry they need to work out <laughs> yeah, like he's good Shouldn't happy fam <laughs> it's true right. ah, i understand it so understand. what's changed Not let's just say still going down 
there's, there's going to be a lot more barbecue streams. I see how I got tunnel vision. And this time, I'm going to make sure I stay live for the whole event, so I can actually use my. Saving the planet I'll use my power bank. But I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't. I use my power bank to actually connect it, and then that way I don't ever have to get off. Just wish I could have got it sooner. It will, it will be until I can. Man, I wish I could cut into the meat. Because a lot of my guys who actually tasted it, they tasted the barbecue right after with the meat and they were just like, dude, like, you know, this is, this is something that you need to do all the time. <laughs> or like, you really like doing this stuff, don't you? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> really, really like to. Uh, so it's nice to see other cultures food. It always looks good. Thanks, man. Like. I'm actually quite proud um, of being able to eat all this different kind of food. I think one thing about it is that my uh, father-in-law, I think he really likes me. Like he's the most scariest looking Lebanese guy out there. <laughs> but I tell you, I think he likes <laughs> he likes me that I like to eat all the food. <laughs> and also like, you know, I'm the same as him. Like, yeah, you know, sometimes he can get really stubborn about being old-fashioned. Every time I'm there, he's like, my son is here. <laughs> I should do a mini series, right? I should do a mini series like IRL videos where it's just like, you know, the title. I have a Lebanese daddy in law. <laughs> I, I, I tell you right now, he's the most funniest, serious looking guy ever. He's the most serious, funny guy. Like, I can tell you right now, right? We were at a wedding. Right, we were all invited to some I family relative wedding, but believe. you know, being Lebanese culture, everyone was drinking. Place. There wasn't just a little bit of I drinking, most there was a ton of drinking, a ton. Right, and like you know, it, we're talking about like a whole bar completely, like you know, just open. It's open bar, unlimited drinks, and when I say unlimited, I mean. I'm freaking limited. Everyone was drinking. And, you know, my dad in law and my other uncle, who, you know, obviously aged as well, they just drank. And I don't mean like the normal kind of drink, I mean, they just drank. Right? So by the time there was like speeches, there was speech, there was this and that going, they were roaring drunk. They were blind. Like blindly drunk. And. Mind you, I don't like to be obnoxious, right? That, that's something that I don't like to do, especially when someone's, you know, wedding and stuff, right? But, oh my god, I couldn't keep myself from laughing because they were doing the, you know, they, they were swearing their face off, they, they, were, it, they were just having a good time, and they were like, who is talking to me? Who is talking there? What? What did he say? I can't hear it. He looks like, you know, he looks like a one of those people, the one that work at the night time at one of those places. No good. Oh my god. I never felt so many dirty stairs on my way. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. It was freaking hilarious. I I didn't want to be there anymore, obviously, but um it's not like I could just leave them there, right? <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh man, that's what you call, you know, your living his daddy. Look, I go, oh man, look, you, you've had enough. Let's just be quiet. Let, let, let them do the talk. This is the father of the bride talk, you know? You can't just say certain sort of stuff. And he goes, huh? Uh, uh, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> And that kept on going. They, they never stopped. And I think because the relatives all understood it, they didn't say much. But the younger guys, man, they really, they were pissed. And I was just like, I was looking at my wife and I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna keep my, keep my mouth shut. I'm gonna like, you know, just relax, pretend I'm not here, pretend I don't exist, you know, one of the characters in the background. Yep. <laughs> and that was very recent. Bird might have already been caught in one of the others. Oh. Only one way to find out. Oh man. 
trying to chip on the other other traps. Can I fast travel here? I can't I can't fast travel here. Damn. Whoa. Sounds crazy, so long as everything worked out. Half of some father's like spent husband the door. I can, I can tell you right now. It, it wasn't the most smoothest journey in the beginning. Winning a lot. I, I do feel like that. With her, I I feel like I'm winning a lot. But that definitely was let, let's just say that definitely wasn't something I expected. Uh, I in the beginning it was already rough for me. Um and I didn't think it was going to be something like uh, an easy acceptance, especially since it's... If we talk 20 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, when we first started, you know, there, there was definitely friction, especially between the races. I'll be the first one to admit that I never thought as a you know, import Asian to Australia, I can go ahead and like, you know, just adopt myself into another culture. I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to marry a blonde you know, blonde, blue eyes, Australian. Like, that's the most integrated I can get, right? Otherwise, I'm straight back in. Like, well, I'm gonna go back to, you know, a Asian. Because that's how it was a world. It was a big division. Australia wasn't going to be multicultural. Multicultural. That much. Uh, it, it was just, if you got by, you got by, you know? And then you were seen as weird. And for me, I thought, but that, that was definitely something different. I didn't think it was going to be something new. Um, and you know, anyone that saw me, <laughs> with, with, you know, it's just so much more. It's definitely different. Um, and yeah, that that's that's what eventually happened. And fighting my way in, that 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 was a lot of trials. That I will have to admit. Old gens are crazy, the old brother, it, it truly is. Imagine trying to tell someone that, you know, I'm gonna go and marry Lebanese. Or I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna be like, you know, oh, my missus is not Asian. They look at you and they're like, what did you just say, bro? Or what did you say to me, son? You know? It's like, it's inconceivable. There's no way you can get by and say, oh, um, you know. Because back then, the old gen's like, oh, you know, you come with me on this weekend, I'm going to introduce a very nice girl to you, or a very nice boy to you. That, that was back then, the old gen went crazy. My mom wouldn't stop me, uh, sorry, wouldn't stop introducing new people to me all the time. Like, every every week, it was like, you meet with another girl, or meet with this girl. She's very different family, she's very good, you know, she's very smart. And they are, you know, they are. And you know, quite happy, quite happy about it. Um, you know, but like, it, it's it's still nothing to be stopped at it because because you just don't get into them. Cool. Uh, melting apart together and not being separate. Yeah, thank God for that. Let's check the Eventually, I was I was accepted. You should see some of my other friends, man. Some of my other friends, they were just like, "Hang on a second, you're the biggest Asian I know, and you're telling me you got a Lebanese girlfriend." <laughs> even even my girl as friends couldn't believe me. They were just like going, "I don't believe you." I had to show them a photo and everything, and then they were like, "Oh my God." And then they would tell people like, you know how if you watch the um, sitcom from you know last two hey, years ago, the one that says, um, what is it? "How I Met Your Mother." My version was, the, "Can you believe he's got a Lebanese fiance?" Wow, ah, real. That that was how I was, you know, being going through. I was like, "What the heck?" I got your number. 
Uh, ice damage. Oof. It is happy <laughs> Emperor World right now. <laughs> very, very happy. I will say, best type ever. Not, not just because, like, you know, I get unlimited with food, but also because there's just so much more stuff that I can do. Um, mostly it's because heavily loyal. Won't say, won't take no. That, that, that's my life. My life will, will not take no for an answer when it comes down to certain things like good food, um, you know, making sure that I am happy, you know, get enough food. Are you happy? Are you, you're not happy. Am I doing something wrong? Those kind of things. I definitely get off as being very lucky. Oh, what the? Oh, cool. I need to use past future on myself. I can probably damage this guy. That is so annoying. Come on. Calling I do this. Oh my god, thank god I can actually do a limit break here. I've taken so much damage. And he's not even dead. Ready, ready! Come on, I'm That's it. All right, see ya. Just in case. Oh my god. <laughs> does Eddie have any strong chain grabs or nothing crazy? He does have crazy setup. So you can do a 4 4 3, which is the low. Right? <laughs> if you do a 443, if you see yeah, the opponent get counter hit, like a. Monster town. Like they trip down, right? Like the character fall down. Not oh, as if they just get hit and they stagger back. If you can notice that the legs, they actually fall down to the ground, they quickly get up. They it actually get up on. in low yeah, stance. You can instantly grab from your low stance. So when you're sitting down and you press grab, that's actually the. Uh, it's actually automatic low stance. I mean, low grab low stance. So there is that, and then there's another one is if you do, if you are on negative stance. So if you're on negative stance, you have the a rodeo grab, and then you have a well. Let's just say you have your the handstand stance. That one's got the unbreakable leg stance as well. So once you get hit, you just get hit. So yeah, definitely a few things that you can do. Um, well, I will say it's a little bit OP. It's just a little bit OP. Uh, where is why can't I fast travel here? Am I not allowed to fast? Oh, wow! Yeah, so hmm. Might be easier to just show you. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I feel like instead of me explaining, um, it might be easier for me to just get this game right strong. Okay, let me show you my experiments. Now that I've got about some early hours with Tekken. 
Mm. I feel like it's just much more easier to show you a, a, a current the current meta of how to use him in a battle. That's what I honestly feel like. If you can get in to use this onto um, your games, you'll have a lot of good times. Actually, I was versing some blue rank people yesterday uh, and some Tekken, Tekken Kings um, when I was playing offline and even online. Um, they, 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 had to, they had a hard time adjusting. Let's just say not everyone has gotten that under the pretense that yeah, it's easy, but definitely uh, very, very strong. Let me fix a few things up as well. Where is my capture? Okay. <laughs> Let me get the other one. So some points you know, amazing this. Any fan content? <laughs> You're cracked. Uh, I'll make some more fan content just for you. Um, with fan content, he's a, he's good. He's so broken. Like the way I use him is completely breaking uh, different people when it comes down to seeing how they are. You don't have to load the game. I feel bad for you. No, it's okay. It's a stream. Like you know, I'm not performing something. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, hello Angela Wilson, happy duck, not much, playing some FF7 and also showing a few things um, to my friend Sip Nation, let me get a full screen projection on, so that way I can see it. Okay, so now I'm watching from the U, uh, from OBS site. Let me quickly show you something that will mix things up. Uh, Angela Wilson, I'm doing great, but if you're here to advertise for buying this or that for artists or panels, I'm not interested. Okay, so Sip Nation, this one's for you. This one's for you and for anyone else that's interested in like, you know, obviously knowing how to go with the battle curve. I can't teach you to become, you know, a perfect frame player, but I can teach you how to become a much better player and become a threat. I know how to teach battle wheel and how to not be scared, right? Um, and I've been meaning to make a video in order to get something like this, but I'll, I'll wait until the rest of this week passes so I can like, you know, get a good amount of details to what I can write. Okay, so usually what you do, number one thing when people go into ranked is that they look to the top right or the top left depending on which player that they are. And the first thing is you look at the number to see and compare. And don't tell me you don't because you do to find out what their rank is, what the actual battle progress is. What should happen, what should happen is that you should not be looking at it at all, right? Because whether they're 240k or 350k, at the end of the day, you can just assume that they've had a lot more hours than you. If you have more hours than them, then that's fair enough. But what you should do is to focus on what you're going to be doing, right? Some people, they, or let's just say a lot of people will rank, they get held back by their own fear. And you shouldn't be doing that, right? So, so for example, having a dummy that constantly like, you know, engages you right here as a practice it should be the best way to practice when you're like CQC and CQC is something that you should respect because you know what happens like a lot of people they're like oh my god he's just charging me at the front let me do my big moves the frames you know so Eddie number one tool to punish anything that you think is jabbable is one two why because it's 10 frames that's 10 frames right this is 10 frames back one here is 14 frames but this actually tracks so if they sidestepping in front of you, you can track with this, right? So even if they're sidestepping, that's tracking. DF1 also tracks. So Eddie on this is actually really good. So if you went in doubt and the guy is very, very good at stepping like this. So this is what we call micro, micro step or micro duck, right? 
and basically it involves you moving like this so you look like you're shuffling sides when you do do something like that it means that the guy is very active on his pad or he's very active on his um on his hitbox so hitbox players would definitely play like this um you would you wouldn't get that much lever player playing like this because it hurts the wrist and it's not ergonomically good when it comes down to playing. Uh, so they definitely would try to avoid it. What they would do is KBD, which is something like that. Um, you know, and, th and that's when you see someone who can do KBD quite a lot. You know, you're in for a tough match. That that's tournament players. That's something that players will will abuse. Uh, because KBD will eliminate some options. Now, once we get through all of that, that is movement elimination. Let's talk about Eddie. In this kind of situation, let me give you the beginning. The beginning, if you, you know, if you, let's just say if you got people like a, um, let's just say standing block, right? He's standing there blocking, he's blocking all of that. He's, he's got everything in on the download and you don't know how to open him like you can do all of this and you're out of ideas right number one thing is if you're doing dp44 to create some distance notice that this will bait people for a one to punish right because this gives you enough space for you to go punish with the four three four because a lot of kazuya or mishima players will like to do one two right after you just do your thing do that or you can go um, straight into your down stance, right? So after you do it, right? Or you can go and like punish them because one two doesn't have enough uh, area to play around with you. Or you can just muck around. Fall, fall. Do you see that? That is a counter hit. As soon as you see this, when they fall down a little bit, right? You just press grab. That's an instant automatic guarantee. Okay. So fall, fall three. If they fall down and the camera angle changes a tiny little bit, that's actually guaranteed. Look at the damage. You make him feel that threat. Okay, obviously you can do this, you know, and follow with 3-3. Three, three. Or you can go 4-4-3 four, four, three, and follow with 4-3. Four, uh, four, it's actually guaranteed combo. 3-hit, 54 damage for no apparent reason. So it's about baiting the distance. Uh, it's okay, right? Eddie has long reach, right? Most of his moves are long reach and can do a ton. A ton of stuff that you can walk around with. He's sort of like Ling Xiao Yu. He's got the forward one two. He's got the back one two, right? So you can dodge a lot of running stuff. You can dodge a lot of things just coming at you. You can do that. Like, you know, a lot of things to pressure. Right, you, you can do plenty of things. You can threaten lows, you can threaten high, you can threaten a lot of things where you know you trap them completely, just like that. That is just the four trap, and then you can go three, 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 and then low stance into three, three. You can go to continuous loops. Like the, the, the option is almost endless, right? So you can do that, and then you can go back into it. A lot of the times you see me not do and continue with the high here is because this is already this one is 13 or negative six it is punishable um, by ducking right after because this is a duck once you duck and develop a bad habit for it experience player will actually counter which is why i do a lot of the one here to get myself a little bit more breathing to come back so now that we've covered how to give threat give threat a lot of people they will be expecting eddie's gonna go low so if you meet someone who's like this and they are like, oh, I'm going to keep blocking, sometimes I'm ducking, try to open them up with the slowest move, 28 frames right here, right? Why do we throw it? You can even throw that max distance here, right? Look at the distance here. It works. You can either be around here and you can throw it, right? That's, if we go count, back dash, back dash. Two backdashes, you can still do it. So that's a shimmy right there. And that still works for you. What you should do is make them panic. Right? In enter the Wrath of God. A lot of things that you can go, you can go down 4-3. So down 4-3 is only when you know they're very active and trying to punish. Higher advanced level Eddie will go down 4 and then stay on down stance and then while uh, while uh, crouching, you will do the DF4, right? DF3 is obviously to knock out, 
So you can do DF three as well, right? And that stuns them because it puts you in plus six frames, and that's still your turn. So now that uh, we understand this part, how do you insert more pressure without just pressing the legs? You got two one. Two one is four frames. So they can duck the second hit if they realize it. You can also delay it, right? So you can go right delay with the last hit. That's the middle. So that's one way to build up some pressure. Or you can go one two straight down. Again, they don't they don't respect it. So let me show you what I will do against someone in let's just say a very very quick distance. So the way I will play Eddie, um, let's just do a quick, a quick match. I don't even know if I'm gonna get anyone. Right? Holy switch house! Think I'm cool. You should, you should really cool people. Like, trust me. Let me show you the wheel of to battle with Eddie. Once you see it, you'll understand what I mean. So this is my Garu Eddie yesterday. Obviously, I uh, leveled. If I kept on going for another hour or two, probably hit the purple ranks, uh, but there wasn't enough people, and I was starting to like, uh, I was starting to be completely cooked Get as well. So, let me just quickly get this part. So, a few things. This is your corner uh, wall combo. Okay, so anytime you hit them into your wall combo, you should just hit that. Not the greatest connection, as you can tell, right there on the green arrows. It's not that good, uh, but sure. The way to uh, completely cook your opponent and also to the mix them up. Battle. He's lagging. Wow. So he's lagging. I think I've versed this guy before, old man. I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm lagging a little bit and I'm also staring from a different monitor. Round he's lagging one. as well. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna see what he's doing. Okay, he's got the jabs. He wanted to do the he wanted to build distance. Oh okay, no worries. Okay. Let's go. And then what you wanna do is oh by the way, he's lagging like hell. There you go, he made a mistake. Get that distance. Bang. Oh, I didn't he was so laggy, I couldn't get through it. That's okay, go down, bounce him, boom, dash, completing with easy combo 3 4 3 So, do that, make him respect that low, he's not res and then make sure he gives out, you have to give a little bit of space to grind here. Sometimes he will just hook you just because he is going for the same thing as you. Yeah, he's trying to do the same thing. Uh -huh. So that's a desperate way of trying to play Brian. He's he's out of ideas. He is completely out of ideas. Uh huh. Low. Uh huh. See how you can just duck him. Yeah. I was pressing the one two. I couldn't mash you for some reason. Bad connection, but that's okay. You can tell he's he's really trying now. He has no idea what you want to do. Okay, so bursting is a good option. Come on. Uh, okay, so I made a mistake by pressing the while rising too, but it's okay. Kind of, it's sort of like Nino frames here and there, but not exactly, because you can do a lot more. Nino is a lot more faster and quicker as a character. Now, obviously, we haven't cooked him enough, but he is very aware of the of the lows. Okay. Boom. Make him feel. Because he wants to activate. Uh huh. Oh wow, I couldn't even break the snake edge. Like, that's how laggy I'm playing right now. And that's okay. Okay, so this is maximum damage. Probably will finish me off. But I can just tell how desperate you know Brian got into here. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. Come on. Okay, so he's probably kicking himself. 
We dropped the combo because of the lag, but it doesn't matter. Just do it. Rush in front of him. Who cares? Who cares? Like, just do it. You know what I mean? Try. Have some fun. Here. Come on. Give me something. Ah. He's now starting to go into... He's thinking, ah, he's got me now. Oh, oh, one, two, predicted, didn't come through, but that's okay. He's like, you predict, but probably too laggy. Well, yeah, what can you do? That, that's just online. So, this is all he's amounting to because he's kind of scared. He likes to duck, so we'll make him duck. And now, he's got the fear. He, he, he fears like no tomorrow now. And we haven't done anything. And now, all of a sudden. Uh oh! We threw the fall four three. I didn't do anything special. That was the typical Shinru Brian. I could say he can probably make it to the purple ranks as well, um, because you know it's not like he was doing anything wrong. It's just that he didn't have anything fresh for me to feel anything, and even during a lag. Okay, so he wanted to build that against me, and now he's sort of rattled. Okay, he's dropping his frames. He's trying to play the. He's trying to play it. Okay, no worries. Come on, give me the luck. Oh, that should have been a parry. Ah, not respecting. Not respecting at all. And bang. And then just go. DF one. DF one. Ah. One two didn't come out again. He was even pivoting. I was like trying to mash the one two. <laughs> Remember, you're playing. It, it's it's just for fun. <laughs> Would have triggered him and left for those kisses. Ah, it's it's all good, right? What you want to be is someone who can make people swallow that bit of pill. He's just better. Right? Nothing about, you know, about pride or anything, nothing about, oh my god, I can beat this guy or something. No, it's completely giving him a fair go, um, as it is with the Aussie weight. doesn't matter if you win or lose. Once again, can't break out of 1-2 just because of the lag, but that's okay. He's not respecting, so we'll make him respect. He's gonna go low. Ah, once again, 1-2. Not that we can't break it. It's just that we can't break it at all for some reason. Anyway, so now that everything is gone, what else does he have left? He is gonna try his best <laughs> to predict. Because he wants to learn as well. Right? He ultimately wants to learn. So, do him the favor. Give him a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let him connect the combo. He's gonna try to peep at an angle. Whoops. He's trying to keep with the angle for it. Okay, here we go. Activate. No? Okay. No? Okay, there's the activation. Not very good. Aha. I did say he was gonna try to grab, right? It's all about that level of read. After his flow combo is gone, he doesn't have anything else. I don't even know why I couldn't parry or defend against it, but sure. You know, something like that just happens. And now, are the stuff that he's not, uh, he's not <laughs> used to. He's trying to get the get the orbital, and that ain't happening. Uh huh. So what happens now? Brian has the thing. He's gonna try to go for a grab, trying to go for something out of nowhere. He's not used to it, right? Quarter Circle 4 or Wild Rising 3. <clears throat> very toxic stuff. Very easy to connect. But it's also heavy. It's a bad angle for him. He doesn't get anything. Ah, oh, good orbital. He's not respecting again. Okay. Pressure. 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 He's not used to it now, and bang, you rattled him. 
He completely rattled him and he doesn't even get a single round back. Complete reversal domination. And the, the biggest thing to take away from this is that no matter what the situation is, as long as you have a very good level of read and a good level of frame data, no matter how much um, you know rubbish that they can throw at you, you can do so much things um, to trigger people and like and ultimately destroy them that you know they can't actually have a decent response. Now, did I do any combo with Eddie? I, I mean, I did one hit dash to hit dash, right? Uh, which wasn't the best thing ever. Which wasn't optimal. Didn't do anything important. It was just purely knowledge check, purely reading him, downloading him, and seeing his play. Now, the battle will is the one thing that I want to expand upon. The battle will here. The most important thing here. It's simply give him a little bit of room and, and breathing room here and there. But that's just the beginning. Don't give it to him all the time because players will take advantage of it, right? Give him a little bit. He's out of steam. He has no idea what he's doing. He's like, one, two, one, two. Oh, down. Like, you know, forward, forward, grab, right? All of this stuff. Okay, no worries. But the real battle will is I'm not afraid of you. I'm coming to the forward, right? Obviously, I still have my, you know, my consciousness. If I'm dashing a, a, a Mishima, obviously I will do a measured approach, but I am going to be this close, right? And people panic all the time. They're like, oh my god, DF2 right now, DF2, DF2. Oh, uh, let me do a Dora. Let, let me do a Electric. Let me do something, right? You can go bang, dash, right? Dash, side step. Like, you can do all of this, right? People will see this kind of movement, and I can tell you right now, they don't want to play against you. Right? If you know what you're doing, you can do all of this. Uh, another thing is Wavu Wavu dashes. So say for example, I can't really emulate on this side, but Wavu Wavu dashes will typically look like this. Right? Right? So it, it'll be like that. So they're constantly going boom, 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 boom. Now, you shouldn't be afraid. If they're going to sweep you, they're going to sweep you. What you should do instead is stand tall, stand firm and wait for it, anticipate as if it's a rhythm game and have the down parry ready to go. I was versus someone who was very good at Wave of Wave, was super consistent, almost like the main man Sweet yes, uh, two days ago, and I parried him three times out of four. And he was quite frustrated, so he kept on going four, four, three, four, four, three, right? And it, it, it's good, it, but it's less than optimal um, than what he wanted. And ultimately, he only caught me with Doris uh, when I was attacking him. Now, just to repeat the lesson, don't be afraid to dash the crap out of him. If he either 1-1-2 or 1-2-3, guess what? It's it's very minimal damage. You, they, who cares, right? Go in front of him. Let him feel that low. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know what's hitting him. 4-4-3, four, four, counter hit. 4-4. Four, 4-3, four. Four, sorry. Bang. 54 damage. All 4-4-3, four, four, counter hit, grab. 52 damage. Either way, take your pick, or you can rattle the guy, right? Down stance, right? For the low. Options are endless. And then this one, unblockable. So, what you can do, try to open someone up. Okay, so remember, you can always, when you're in this down stance, you can always get back up by pressing back. And so, you're not gonna get hit by the super, right? Most important thing. But you can do this. If they don't know their knowledge, 28 hit, guaranteed. Unescapable. And then you're on the low stance. Right now, 9 times out of 10, people who don't know Eddie will eat the up 38 damage right after. If they do know, you can do the 4. Why do I say you, you can do the 4? Right? It's because 4 on hit. It's minus eight only, so they're still gonna try to recover. You have a very distant, very dis, very decent uh, response uh, over here, and distance, right? That they're gonna have to respect. So even if you do like say hit that, there's not gonna be that much response. It's negative eight. The one thing that comes out, the first left jab, which is the 10th frame, right, doesn't reach you. And you can actually go for a lot of different things. You can go back through four just to check him to see if he's gonna do big moves or small moves. Either way, if he's gonna go grab, you're safe. So safe, right? You don't want to hit the second one if he's blocking because he's negative 13. Um, because this, you can delay it. See? You see it? 
hold on to the X and you'll delay. But either way, you know, you can just go hold, hold on to the four, and then think about in that micro adjustment if you want to do the three. You'll clap the man sweet, and I don't think I'll clap him. I'm, I'm too washed to be able to keep up <laughs> with the main man sweet. He is very good. <laughs> yeah, they're unbreakable. Remember, you can do one, two, forward, bang, grab, and that will do a ton, especially against the wall. Right, so that's one but one way of battle. So it's four, four, three. Right, this is the other mind game. DF three. Let's just say it's not counter here. Uh, like how I did it. Uh, practice setting. Alright, uh, let's say it's not counter here. Let's go. DF three. DF three. No matter where I am, I'm doing a DF three. Right, it's just it's just like a dragon of DF three. It's slow. This is weird looking FF. <laughs> Yo, Z, what up, man? I'm giving Sip Nation a little bit of a battle wheel um, for Eddie. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yo, what up, Yuki? Capo Era, man. Yeah, this is my Capo Era baby. So, the battle wheel here is remember, in this distance and even a little bit further back, right here, it's your maximum distance for DF3, right? As soon as he, he was even trying to jab, you can see it. High level purple players will try to jab you out, right? Out of that, doesn't matter. Give it to them. Give him that little bit of kind of day because you know that's exactly what they have. When you do a down jab like this, it's 10. But it's also negative 5 frames when they are blocked. So, you know, they're going to have to think about the wake up, right? The wake up usually is the knee or something like a full wake up. So, at the end of the day, when you trade this, you're good. Why? Because they're scared. You're inserting the fear of God to them, right? Nothing makes it any more worse than someone who does mid mid launch or low low launch or low 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 mid and then punishes the crap out of you for no reason there is that quick question do you think deluxe edition is worth your uh is worth it i think yep for someone who played tekken quite a lot um i think the deluxe edition is worth it because i've actually put a few hundred hours um in this game already uh, I'm, I'm starting to get quite close to i don't know i don't know if i approach a thousand mark because i haven't dedicated that much but i think spending 160 dollars australian uh was quite worth it um although i wish that the battle pass didn't fully exist as well i would have just paid normally for all the cosmetics in one here like you know don't give don't ever give a fight a fighting gamer dailies why Although it's good to grow your EXP and all that, I think it's still a really weird angle to have because fighting, fighting game players, if they are cracked and dedicated, man, they've got a job outside as well. Or if they're fully dedicated and cracked, they're going to be playing all day every day. Rewarding them is like you're trying to suck in your loyal customer base who is already sucked in. So I'm really not one for the battle pass. I mean, I'm going to buy it. Making me do every dailies are you kidding me i can't even do league of legends dailies i used to play wow for 10 years dailies was the bang of my life i had to do it on eight max level characters Ugh. still crazy on the battle pass that that's what i think as well okay so back on eddie here boom boom and it gets launched by that right so remember bang bang and they're already scared what are you gonna do? You're gonna launch that sucker. You are gonna launch him so hard. Um, bad example. Right. Very tight timing. That gives you Madinga in steel. Right, one level. So you can go one, two, stance, Madinga. All, one, two. Right, all, one, two. Relaunch them. Right? Oh, that's that's not relaunching. Okay, I don't know how to relaunch it again. Ah, sorry. Ah, this one, this one. It's much better. Right? This is mid. So if you hit this, guarantee right after. And your 444 is upgraded. Like that is some that is some crazy stuff. Trust me, you'll love your 444. <laughs> Battle Pass kind of sucks even though I bought it. They focus more on the after aspect. Anyways, using the lounge. 
well, a lot of I think it's targeted to streamers. A lot of streamers do it, um, and that that part weirds me out. If anything, that part weirds me out. If, like your streamers already do it. Like you know why why would you? Right that 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 part I don't understand. Um, otherwise, would it be fine? Um, where where is the move? This move. All right, so when you see this, it's 17 frames on below. It's it's really good, right? Um, but what you want is you want your in install. So you got two level of, of install. Usually when you uh, do anything to do with Medinga, like you know, give you for four, or just do it again. Okay, your maximum install is here, right? When you're down here and you do that, it's actually much more beneficial because any of these moves here adds to your arsenal. Your Medinga is never going to finish. It's always going to be staying there, so it's a constant threat, right? If you can, at the high level, get a real, like, get two Medinga, it means you're dominating him, right? It means that you're dominating him. If you get one, that's pretty much standard. When you get two, it means that this guy has no idea about Eddie. And this guy is giving you so much more room to mark around that you connect your combos to get it. Because you can't get a Medinga uh, install normally. You have to connect with moves. How do I find Eddie in rank? He's broken. I think he's overtuned and he's OP. I'm remember, a lot of people have pointed this out. Eddie, when you choose him for ranked, your rank reset into beginner. Yesterday I ran into 20 Smurfs and they were all high level. Every one of them was at least purple level to the blue rank to the Tekken King level. And I fought every one of them. Until I got myself back into guard remote which took 5 hours. <laughs> I think he's got too many good options. Um, they erased... They, they didn't erase enough options. They, they instead... They gave him good options instead. Imagine a world where Eddie... It's where Eddie is given so much threat that he's a better Dragunov. Imagine your Dragunov who has to, you know, constantly use the boot, right? Because he's that's his move, like, and that's all this stuff. Eddie is Dragunov and Jin, except he's got the stances as well. So Jin's got his crazy Zen stance. Eddie has the sidestep Lin Xiao Yu, <laughs> Lin Xiao Yu. Like, what is this? This, you can grab, you can combo, you can pressure, you can actually go down to a down stance. From the down stance, you can go to that. You can actually do infinite. So, it's, uh, I think it was this one. So, uh, hang on. It was this one that goes down. And then from your down stance, you know, you're given the time of day, which is just a few frames, you can do it again. Right? So, I'm gonna try to emulate what I saw the other day. Um, <laughs> which is ridiculous, by the way. Uh, bang. It was... It was... Hang on. It was... It was this. And then it was that. And then you get back into here. It, it was ridiculous. And his 4 3 4 option is a mid. So this ducks your high. Remember when Demon Paul is like 442 from Kazuya or Jin? Or Devil Jin is super fast, it's super swift, it's only like 15 frames or something. Well, this thing is 19 frames, except it ducks the highs. Because this is mid! <laughs> You're mid! <laughs> this is crazy option to give him. And then it's pure 50 50. Like, it, it's it's so much more easier to mark around. His war combo is easy because you just have to like mash this. And you're pretty much done. And then you threaten Madinga, uh, or you threaten, you know, uh, guaranteed. If you do 4-4-3, four, four, yeah, it's it's a complete disaster at one counter hit. Like, what do you do to that? Look at your health, how much health you just, <laughs> you just got destroyed. Uh, his stance alone is enough to keep an eye on him, like him standing still, yeah. Like, that's how I felt. Yesterday when playing Eddie, I actually think it, they really overtuned him, like completely overtuned. Like you can spend free three, right? Like this is quick. This is 12 frames. 12. If you get hit once, he's on plus 10. Plus 10's a lot. 
right? Plus 10 is a lot. And there's many ways of getting in. And this has a long range poke. <laughs> I just spammed him. Look at that. It, it's it's ridiculous. I think Eddie um, needs adjustment. Probably more than Azucena. Explain the bar. Okay. So the bar is um, hang on, let me get let me get back in. I don't know why it's lagging. Okay, so the bar is is what we call is what they call magic or madinga. Okay, in the better S's or oh, better of a lacking word, it's a new store. Okay. Um, it's not like Leo's you know lightning gazer where you can keep the lightning charge. Get ready for the next battle. Don't worry, I, I didn't really want to pay attention as well. <laughs> so basically there are certain moves that gives you this move. See how he just gets up? So there are certain moves on the move list that gives you access to Madinga. So um what's a better way? No, I am in the combos. So Madinga moves are probably the one thing that you need to uh, keep on to. Don't worry about any of this. When it comes down to Madinga, you know this is better than this is better than uh, Brian's Snake Edge. It's, it's actually much better. Let me try to find all the Madinga and stuff. Um, I need to find the ones that gives you all the Madinga access. Uh, Shifted Banarera. I think I saw a Madinga. I can't even fully remember how much Madinga stuff I get. Where is my Medina Shiga Negativa? Uh, Negativa is quite good. Um, Shift to the Bandera. I should just call it down since and all that. It's, it's so hard. It's so hard to keep up sometimes. Uh, anyway, so there's actually, there's actually ways to charge it up. But the best one, obviously, is the uh, DB44. Man, they should just break it down. Alright, anyway, let's just reset, right? When you have access to the install, which is the green thing, you actually go forward and you can do moves. If you don't have it, you obviously don't have it. So, now that we have one install, if you, at any stance, go into go any instance, go to handstand and press 3 4, you do 29 damage. It's very quick. Because it goes low for it. And then you have to respect. Although he says, right, if we if we see in the beginning, 21, right? He's at 21 frames. Remember, this is a side. So you will most likely do that. So if you quick time, or you can back up. And he hits at a long distance. It doesn't go around, it doesn't go away, it lasts for the full round. It lasts the whole round. And to make it worse, you can have two. Two bars of this. Now remember, it was 20 something damage. Alright, let's, let's just quickly confirm how much damage that was. So, 29 damage. Now let's hit it one more time. Okay, remember 29 damage. Now it becomes 37 damage. And do you see that 27 damage? 37 damage with an Oki. That Oki is your face down to the ground, facing my feet. And we know what comes right after that, right? Is you're gonna get juggled, you're gonna be cornered. Right? Look at how many times I've used it. I've used it that many times. Look at the distance it covers. Alright, let me let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Right, the first hit didn't go through it, but definitely it's a get out of jail free <laughs> card. Okay, where's all that? <laughs> so look at how many times I've used it. Right? You will be surprised to find out just how much stuff you can access to just with Madinga. That threat is constantly destroying. Constantly destroying. And because you can use so many moves to variation and cancel, right? 
<laughs> you will always somehow get hit by it, right? Because usually people will do one to break distance or one two, right? But no, you can you can also do cancel. And you're gonna have to guess 50 50 50 50 50 50. <laughs> This is very broken. Obviously, everyone knows the 3 3 combo, but did you know he's got a Victor stun? You know how Victor does a stun while rising 1? He's got a while rising 2. And then you go. Th oh, hang on. Stop that up. 2 3 3. 3 3. Bang. Guarantee 67 damage and one level of install. Did you see that? That was one guarantee. So if you at any, any chance, literally stun. Which is 15 frames. You have you're a plus 51 at that stance. Right? And then two three. Right, just remember. Two three. And then three three. Three. Three three. Madinga. And this on the down stance is just three three. That's another level of Madinga. And you have enough you have enough. You have enough in that situation to wake up and he still has nothing on you because he's still recovering let's just say we're at the war right we're at the war position right you're like oh man i'm gonna hit him with a 3-3 i don't know if he can recover and he's gonna punish me leveling up my new school check this out he's still not up yet because he got he got hit by that he is still out of active frame that the only thing he can do maybe is down four okay so Yep. See? Do you see how I'm moving already? To anticipate a down parry? He's got nothing on you. He has to literally respect and get up. <laughs> so, you can be cheap. Remember, cheapness, it's about launching. Creating an ultimate goal to make people respect nothing. To respect nothing. Oh man, that last hit. It's so tight. Right? Madinga! 72 damage is at the wall. Things that you can do. Things that you can inflict. The amount of pain. Double Madinga right there. If we take the amount of damage in, that was 110 damage altogether. We haven't activated, we haven't done any bursts. Now all we have to do, mix him up. Madinga comes out, he's pretty much done. That's 140 damage, right? And then if we equate something like a middle hit. You haven't done anything. He still has to guess. There is nothing that he can do. He's still in a minus. He's in a bad, awkward position for this war. <laughs> so, like, you know, pros will most likely try to get up, but then they'll probably give up after like one or two. That's what I will do. <laughs> <laughs> his end lag is so crazy yeah he, he's that's just the kind of character that he is right um and that's by no means stating that he is on the better side of release he is let's just say a lack of a better word too good um for the current situation it's not like we don't appreciate it it's not like we don't you know like his design is that remember when you deal with new characters, some characters suck, other characters are really good. He's on the too good side. <laughs> Evo Japan's gonna be crazy. I was looking at John Ding and Ranchu, both play it, and both times they've shown that they just dominated. So they went to quickly level their characters to Tekken King or Bushin, and the people couldn't guess. Like, I think John Ding came up with this ingenious like you know barrel roll situation on the ground where he kept on barrel rolling oh my god i didn't want to deal with that pressure i was just like it's mid to mid to mid to plus because he still get uh priority on the side step so imagine ling xiao yu mixed evasion with stance that's really good and bitter ass with unbreakable throw and you're a dragon of jin that that's oh, that's Eddie in my him, current opinion. A little bit too good. You. you head straight home. <laughs> no wonder. Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Go on, eat up. Some 
Someday you're gonna be big wow. and strong and scare <clears throat> away all the monsters. Hope I can Had to really break that one out. One that, that was crazy. Tell her about her home and everything else. That was a good uh, session. Uh, thanks, sure man. A good idea? Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad it you like fun. it. <laughs> I'll you come up with a maybe, better explanation on how to teach feel? people to Don't know, man. get into red ranks and purple ranks a lot more easier. And with enough labbing and dedication, you can probably get yourself into blue ranks. It's actually not that hard. It's just dedication. And it's not like mindless grinding where you're like continuously doing the same thing. What's up? And all that. It's. My dad says I mean, you can, to stay but that's really boring. You. What you want to do is have maximum fun while getting that's there. So. Uh, and so the maximum fun well, don't want to get you for trouble. everyone out there is to soul fellas gotta go. Take care, Cloud know Jim. enough stuff to make your Thanks session fun. Again for all your help, mister. It's up to the person to put the work in. <laughs> Cheers, man. Truly appreciate it. But yeah, I will make one up. Oh my God, my God. I, I just keep in my relationship with good old Barrett. Alright, so... Yeah, look forward to that. Um, I will tell you right now. Um, I found the toughest character to learn in Tekken 8. Right now, that's Claudio. If you ever had the chance to level up and learn Claudio, do yourself a favor. Don't. <laughs> Don't. He is that freaking hard. Definitely not someone that I want to um, mess around with. Cloud, have you ever evidently these look if you notice a stray chocobo, you'll likely find a stop Zafina? Not too far from it. Zafina is hard to a point. I don't think Zafina is as hard as a um Well, I don't think she's as hard or difficult as Claudio. Claudio, in order to get that maximum damage and maximum punishment. The amount of dedication and hours I put in is worse than Kazuya Mishima. To put it like that. Like, I think Kazuya Mishima is a lot more easier. That, that's the way. Okay. Wouldn't know though. Play Reina, Kazuya, and Kuma. To this point, I still haven't played enough Reina. And so I'm gonna have to put that on the list to like, you know, break into it. I haven't developed a battle wheel just yet because I, all I know is... All I know is I have to, you know, obviously dash on UWGF and do a few things. But because... Uh, because I'm playing so much um, of this and that, it makes it hard for me. It makes it hard for me to uh, completely say, yes, you know, this is the way. You know, the tier list? Um, I think Nina's also on the broken tier. I think Nina is actually um, on the much better side. The thing is, she doesn't need up GF, in honesty. Yeah, it's true. You're right. Um, you know, definitely on the much better side. The thing is, to be an absolute threat, an absolute threat. You will want to have it, right? And that's not to mock, you know, what she can come do individual achievement. But the thing is, she's not as scary, right? Um, because you wouldn't be able to insert that pressure. The only thing that carries her is DF12. How good is DF12? DF12 is what I call broken um, when it comes down to it, because DF12 constantly carries the end of that pressure. But what happens? It's like Ryan. Right after, you you don't have anything left. And that makes it very awkward. It's like, what happens then? Oh, I'm out of DF1 too. He's, he, he's blocked it. That, that's that's most, the, most of the stuff that I can get done here. Uh-oh! Like, you know, what happens then? After ramen. Hello, hello. Greetings to you, my friend. Um, and so the ultimate thing in order to get to the much higher ranks to become like you know one day uh, pros saying that you're quite good well let's just say the, the best way is to learn your own stuff you know as what they give Fang at his um, you know on his finale on his finishing holy crap well let's just say the best way is to create your own style Right, sure, there are meta stuff that actually 
does quite well. And then there are people who doesn't do enough. Wow, that was actually a much more easier picture than I thought. Play taking A, bro. All done. <laughs> Does everyone just want to watch me play Tekken <laughs> explain things? I mean, if that's the case, I will switch to Tekken. Um, I will can do a Claudio session. But the thing is, Abdul, right now if I'm playing Tekken, all I'm playing against is well Eddie. And now his all I'm playing against is Eddie. There, everyone's head. Eddie. <laughs> a great comfort, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, I'll if have a little bit of a Tekken session in, in a little bit, know. if I feel like I'm it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Civ Nation, man. Tekken Cheers, man. I appreciate it. Uh, at this second... The in opening their shop. At this second, I'm still considering what to do with Claudio. With still considering what to do with Claudio. Claudio and and some broken will bring us that much stuff. To a planet replete with joy and laughter. Now, I can... I actually really thought about Claudio from taking seven days and taking eight days. Do you know how many moves they removed and like you know, and I don't know why they removed for no reason. So many. Love from India. Hey. Uh. Right. There is all these mid moves and all these different kind of things um, from Claudio, which didn't make sense. I don't know why they decided to like you know destroy it. Uh, but here we are. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now you do what you do. Okay. Let's go. You and I've asked a few people who usually plays quite well. And they they, they just said, bro, it's it's much harder than usual for some reason. And because it's obviously yeah, bad. Exactly. It's full forward running free. It's high, so you have to rely on 444. Uh, actually, 4442. Alright. <laughs> Australia needs to get cooler. Although the days are starting to come down with the temperature. Jesus! It's hot! <laughs> it's still hot! I'm here. I'm in a medical internship, that's why people call me Dr. B. Oh! That's pretty cool. Yeah, we always need more doctors in the field. But you only get your doctor when you become a doctor. So when you do get it, we want to see it. Not to call you out or anything, but one has to back up with achievement. It's to act as a way to improve and a way to continuously reinforce the ideal that you have started with. Is that you want to become a doctor? Show us the end result. You get all seasons, snow or fall. Uh, in Sydney, we don't get any snow. We do get some fall. Snow is only in Canberra and Jamboree, uh, in the high mountain areas. But, yeah, it is what it is. I personally, I was born in blizzard conditions. Um, in China, it was blizzarding. It was like two meter of snow, Ready? I'm here. and they said I was born in one of the coldest winters uh, back in the days. Nice. And my mom carried okay. me, uh, and like really carried me in those days. And I was like, bro, <laughs> MVP to mom. <laughs> and so I've never been a, a summer guy. Every time I came, like you know, when I came to Australia first, it was like 40 degrees in in the freaking like middle of summer when I first came here. I was like, bro. What did I get myself into? <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. Like, no, you know. And they were like, oh, well, you gotta, you gotta get used to it. Cause I get used to, you know, December, you know, January, very cold, blizzard, snow. When I was in China, when I come over here, it's you know in reverse. Jesus, we have a summer Christmas. Imagine a summer Christmas. Everyone is hot. Everyone's going to the CD trying to celebrate, watch the fireworks. Man, I'm at an age where I'm like sitting out, sitting in the lounge with my kids. We put the stream on, watch the fireworks. We're like, oh, happy new year, kids. Happy new year, everyone. And then go to sleep. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's what we do. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. No way. Ready? 
This fight's ugly. <laughs> no stone Christmas is crazy, but I can imagine from other states. It is unfortunate. Dude, it is. It is horrible. It, it is on the more horrible side. Um, a, a lot of the times, you know, people will just look at Australians and be like, how do you do it? And, and we're like, Right. Get used to it. <sighs> this thing is. Oh, thank God. That was an annoying fight. One chomp, and then the rest all dive. Uh, but yeah, imagine going through Christmas, New Year's, working, night time, humid, 43 degrees. I literally told work before, I was like, why don't you just kill me? <laughs> why don't you just kill me? It's like, you know, it's like you don't care. Why, why should you care? Why should I care? <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. I remember one of the weekends uh, landed, right? And it was New Year's. Right? And they said, yeah, I had to work. Nice shift. You know, being a nice shift worker, you know, hospitality, uh, I just accepted my fate. I was like, sure, I will work. You know, and then they, they said, alright, so. The, the best that we can do is make sure that you get parking, which I was actually grateful for. Yeah, very, very grateful. Um, let's just say my work started at 8 p.m. And being someone who was supposed to be at a high level, um, what time did I start? I, I have to be there at 7 because there's a meeting at 7.30. And then we're getting work at 745. Ready? Then there is that. Hey, go on. This is making my camera. This is killing my camera. I might be starting to get dizzy. This thing doesn't want to stop. Anyway. So let me explain. Getting to that getting to that day was crazy. I literally asked them, I go, so I still have to start at this time. They're like, yes. So I still have to work, yes. Can I call in sick? They were like, not possible. I go, okay. That's fine. You know, it, 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 you know what, what you want to do is completely up to you. I go, all right, fine, no worries. So I, you know, like a good socialized worker, yeah, that's been tricked many, many times. I decided to dedicate myself, and I went to work. Um, did I enjoy it? No. They said I could guarantee at least my uh, parking. They didn't. It took me two hours after traffic, after many accidents to get there and I went through a fight obviously someone has trained as me I'm not gonna get hurt so you know there, there was that let's just say I was not happy I was not happy about that one right and so Ready? I, got you. I went into work, got changed, all bloodied up. I mean, all bloodied up. You know, my fist was you know, bleeding, my my shirt was bleeding. You can see some fresh blood on top of my forehead. You know, 
Let, let's just say I took a punch to the head, but then I also like, you know, locked in hold with my headbutt. Got a big head, so, you know, gotta put that into advantage, right? <laughs> um, they looked at me. The higher manager, because I was a manager as well, the higher manager looked at me. And guys, don't even, do I need to know? Actually, you know what? Don't even bother. They just, tell me what I can do for you. And I said, just leave me alone. When I'm ready, I'm ready. Which game is this? This game is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Can't do anything. Let's finish this. Any extra pay, like 1.5? Put it like this. I am a salary employee. Salary employee. Which means nope. No extra money. No extra money at all. God, this stupid thing. Bless them with your love and grace. <laughs> Let's just say, yep, I definitely don't want to wish my worst enemies on something like that at all. But you happened. You happened. I've been dying. Got into a fight, and at the end, finally got a yeah. I went to work all bloody. At the end of the day, the manager just looked at me and said, "What can I do for you, Richard?" I said. I am not coming in to work for the next week. I don't care what you have to say. And that was it. That was the last conversation that we had for a while. <laughs> okay, I, I think I lose you. Jesus. I thought I had... I thought I had more. Alright. Ah! And that's a sp Jeez. Let the wind caress you. Jeez. I'm feeling too much. Okay. That. that worked. I think we're almost done. That worked. Oh my god, Air is MVP? This one's for you! Oh, wow. I don't know how I survived that. Anything that puts food on the table and a smile on the family? Just like that. True. Okay. True. That's what you have to do. That was one of the worst days. But thankfully, I was working in a very quiet place. Um, the people that was scheduled to come in, they didn't show up because they were enjoying the New Year's. I literally... Imagine me, right? Sitting on the 18th level in Prime City location, looking out the window like this. The wind's blasting on my face, right? And I'm like... <sighs> That's it. That was my whole night. Eight hours of it. Well, six. Because <laughs> if you count, I didn't really do much of anything else. That was it. <sighs> what can you do, you know? When you have love for the family, when you have to go and do what you do career-wise and everything, it's the only way. It's the only way. There's no other ways to go about it. With me. Ready? Bear, bring it. Moving on then. 
<sighs> Here's another thing that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to change up a few more videos that's coming out. Obviously, I'm going to keep uh, uploading tech and stuff. But I'm also going to be uploading some Marvel vs. Capcom stuff. Some old school, like, you know, fighting games. And the promised Pokemon video. So for the first time, you know, I decided to go back into the roots of gaming and not just to be uh, buying all the AAA titles that I can finish. Uh, even the wife was like, you buy all these games, but you're not finishing them all. Man, that struck me like an accordion that's just being <laughs> badly played, you know? It's like a beginner. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe I should start playing some of the stuff that I already have. Play some of the stuff that actually made me have a lot of fun. Yeah, obviously, not to take away from FF7, Unicorn Overlord, the Sonic series, and all that stuff. But there has just been so much more games that I need to like you know, pay attention to. And by breaking my kids in. Most importantly, multiplayer freaking Pokemon is great. It's coming. It's coming. Multiplayer Pokemon. I'm hoping this Saturday we can have a stream of that where me and my kid is playing Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying to do a stream like that and making making it something. Making it something. Um, and then obviously getting them to do a few more things here and there. They actually really like uh, making characters. They actually have told me, it's like, Daddy, can I make some characters uh, for Tekken? I was like, shock. I was like, you like it? And my son is like, yeah, I like it. Even my daughter. My daughter's like, I love it. You know, can I make some more? I was like, do it. Okay, that's a, that's a W right there. Anything you upload, I'll end up watching. Cheers, man. I'll continue to like upgrade myself to make sure this stuff comes around. Working really hard on it. The Panda videos should be releasing uh, later this week. Leo ones will probably release um, later this week or next week, along with Eddie. Um, and then I'll upload whatever the camera is. There's so much, there's so much content. I'm loaded with content that I need to like keep on rolling. It's just I don't have enough time. There's so many. <laughs> The backlog is huge when you're playing fighting games, I'll tell you that now. Backlog is huge. Uh, and uh, and some people have told me, you no, need to that. start uploading your fight clips to Facebook, bro. You have to do it and Insta. And I was like, uh, okay, yes sir. <laughs> so I have to start cutting up things um, differently to how I'll post onto YouTube and put it on Facebook and Insta and um, and also put it on TikTok and stuff. And I was like, bro, I I've never been that much on TikTok. They were just like, just do it. I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> was there anything? I'll just obey. I'll just obey. You, you said it. I'll, I'll just do it. And they said, uh, yep, cool. Now that we got that established, now go ahead. Keep on going. <laughs> It's like, alright, and, um, and then here I am, right, talking to um, talking to a friend who edits for me as well on the part-time, when I'm not doing anything, and she's like, bro, you've got so much stuff, like every time you've got new stuff that you want to do, like, what do you want, what do you want to do, focus on something, and I'm like, no, I've been told that I need to do a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> what, what can I say, and she's like, oh, roller car, right, just tell me how to do it and I help you, yeah, but yeah, she's helped me, um, ton as well. Uh, sometimes you probably would have seen the little editor note that says Sword Sky or something. Show some TikTok. In, yeah, show some TikTok. Yeah. You deserve it. Hopefully you get a sponsor and win Evo. <laughs> Winning Evo is a huge stretch. Commentating it. Now that is a dream come true. I would like to one day return to like, you know, do some commentary work with Evo. Um, you know, and obviously you know, just be alone with everyone and commentate for the good stuff. I don't really want to be on the main stage. I just want to like, you know, have a block here and there to cover like a pool, you know. Give me like a group A pool where you got some players like, you know, Daigo or, or someone who's just waddling their way through. I'll be like, yes, mission accomplished. One of my other dreams back then when I was doing League of Legends a ton was to cast one T1 match with Faker. That's all I wanted. I didn't care what to do about anything else. Um, you know, and I definitely have enough experience to cast um, you know, for worlds. Uh, but obviously, you know, I've, I've casted for like you know, the OCE community. 
uh, I've posted and casted quite a few League of Legends and stuff, uh, especially with all the names out there. It's just a shame that it didn't match the timing, otherwise I definitely would have joined the OCE community for like um, commentating League of Legends. That was something that was always on my head, uh, but since it didn't happen, you know, and now it's too late. I'm broken up, and I, I completely give up on League of Legends when it comes down to commentating for it. It's just nothing to do with Ryan. But nevertheless, it's always so much fun. Like now, it's like, unless it's LPO, which is the Chinese region, or LCK, I wouldn't want to consider trying to do anything with League of Legends at all. And don't get me started on Valorant. Just the other day, I felt proud of myself. I actually felt proud. So one thing about me is that I couldn't um, play Helldivers 2 on my computer, no matter what I did, right? And then I thought, screw it. I'm just gonna uninstall everything, get rid of my, you know, game guard because game guard was obviously killing me. Um, you know, having that root kit. Um, kernel level being installed on the computer is not something that I would want, so I fully did an uninstall and you know got rid of everything, all traces of it, which actually took me a little bit to find all the little configs to get rid of on Game Guard. So I'm gonna buy on the PS5, you know, to, so I can still join in to play. Um, and then I uninstalled Valorant. Wow, wow, how much poison I got rid of. And that was oh my god! I'm fighting this piece of crap again. Oh my god! Ready, ready. Oh well. Since you're OG in gaming, have you played WoW? It looked alright, but not sure it's still worth playing with Spacey. I was very, very in the. Oh my god! Let's just say for World of Warcraft, I was in the beginning. I was there. You know that. You said the Lord of the Rings. All wrong me. I was there when you first started. Let's just say it was amazing. It was amazing. Now, is it worth to playing? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. And that's not to downplay on what the WoW devs have actually done now. I just don't think it's worth it at all now. Back then, 100%, you will do it. I will I will recommend anyone who's never tried well to absolutely play well. I'll feel like you're missing out, you know, all the good times, all the things, right? Absolutely loved it. Community was great. Even if you were playing on 300 pin, and I was playing on 300 pin back then, I was still playing it. And I was playing tank as well, and I could not nice. So, the reason I say not, not to play it anymore is that you're missing too much of the biggest thing. And the biggest thing... It's actually not content, right? Because content, you can actually have a feel for, it, right? Content, it is what it is. Anyone can make for it. Um, but unfortunately, it's the community that you're missing out. On. So, wow, is nothing without its community. Back then, imagine having a full server. There's 10,000 people waiting in front of you to play this game. Right? There's 10,000. You are not getting in that server. Dude. You have to like log in for like 8 hours and wait. Oh my god. Am I gonna fail this because of time? You're out of luck. Hang on. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh crap. Oh, I lose. I lose. Oh, maybe. Get up, Cloud. Get up, Cloud. Get up. Get up. Oh, that, that still doesn't fix the time. Uh oh. Ah, uh, I failed on the time limit. Bummer. Damn, it was close. Um, Alright, so the one thing about WoW back then that was really good was that, imagine this, you log on, imagine Discord. Pre-Discord, but it's a Discord. You log on, you have a friend list of people that you play around with, and you have your real friend list, 
and you have a guild of like 100 to 200 people. Everyone's chatting, it's like, oh hey, what's up guys, who's doing this quest, who wants to party up, who wants to do this, are we raiding, are we preparing, let's talk about today. That was wow. And then people played WoW with a freaking website called WoWhead or like, you know, something else. Where you actually get, you know, a, a lot of crap. So, you know, there, there is that. There is that. That's what I, that's what I don't understand. You made short work of that simulation. So, if there was going to be a chance to play WoW, I can't help but wonder where you definitely missed the window. So many but don't feel too discouraged with it. Uh, because it's not worth it now. Now, if you do play, there's just too much stuff. The atmosphere was different back then. Always having your friends. Dude, I will log on and I will see. Not even. I'm not even joking. I will see 20 people that I can instantly party up with and play. Imagine having 20 people at your disposal, and say, "Let's do something." And most of them will say, "Yeah, let's get a few more." Oh, should we invite this? Should we invite? Should we invite that? Like, what should we do? That was the response. Imagine that is what you're like walking yourself into when you're playing WoW. Take whatever beds. Yeah, man. And then when you level a new tune, you're in your own world. I'm not even kidding. It's not like this is some like sword out online stuff. This is just you being you. You having fun and you saying, yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm just gonna relax. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna do what I need to do, and that's it. That's all you're doing. And it was a great time. It was such a great time. I don't even know what else I can say um, about the amount of great times that we had. But that was clearly what a Warcraft. It, it was so good that I don't even remember what else needed to happen i just remember that in my life world of warcraft dominated a whole chunk of my time it was worth it because the loot was exotic it was cool um you know but now much different story now it's like everyone gets handed you know whatever epic whatever crap that they want to get and they will get it yeah they they will just get it and they will have fun with it and there's nothing we can say or do to discourage because back then you have to be within the 40 man guild to play classic 25 man guild you wanted to do something else and then you know that's where you are going um and it's real real unfortunate like you know if you watch zaru or asmon gold you know yeah they they will tell you wow is at a great place uh and it's never been in a better place and i will agree typically but you know, if you're looking for the lore or for the venture, or if you're looking for the real WoW, um, you're not gonna get it. And that's the most unfortunate truth about the matter of things. Like, imagine me, a fighting game player, will you know, will say yes to playing WoW all day. I wouldn't even touch anything else. I wouldn't even play Tekken. I wouldn't even play Street Fighter back in the days. And back then that was what? Well, Street Fighter 4 days? Street Fighter 4 days. The beginning of Street Fighter 4 days. And I say, nah man, I'm gonna play WoW. That's how good it was. I think even more crazy even more crazy was the fact that wow right wow on those days you can also farm money <laughs> you can farm money and people farmed money because one goal was one dollar usd it was crazy times thoughts on Baldur's Gate 3 understandable if you have no time to play it but I think it's made no made for no last like me I think Baldur's Gate is great Larian Studios did such a freaking awesome job with it. No complaints. No complaints. I reckon you should play with all the mods in the world. You know, you should play it just because. You should play it because it's like, you know, original sin. And better. And obviously, 
it's not greedy as well, so it's a total W. It's a total W, man. I wish I had more time to dedicate to Baldur's Gate, but I don't. And also, it takes a chunk of my performance on my computer for some reason as well. Um, that's a shame. <laughs> I really want to play some Baldur's Gate, but you know, not enough time. And, and I've been called out for it. Part of the RPG group that I was with, they have been saying, I showed him a screenshot and they were like, Bro, what's this? You haven't touched your... <coughs> you, you haven't touched your Baldur's Gate for how long? I was like, oh, don't call me out, man. <laughs> uh, man, how do I go through here? But yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. Amazing game. You know what I would love to play one day? Mech Commander. The beginning. Mech Commander, if they ever make that game again, like in a proper way. Holy moly. I'm not talking about Mech Warrior, I'm talking about Mech Commander. Why Mech Commander is because it's a tactical game. You command all the mechs, whether they do good or what and stuff or whatnot. Right? And you can like you know obviously loot. You can you can salvage, defeat the mechs to your own. You make a move. You can convert enemy pilots into your own. You know what they salvage. What you can get is all like RNG drop as well. You can get like great weapons and stuff. It's terrific. Terrific game. Very old. We're talking about like a 30 years old game. <laughs> I thought that you know I should just throw that one out there because it was so good. Man. How do I get here? What the hell? Is there a way I can go from here? Oh. Imagine losing your way in a game like Final Fantasy VII. Jeez. Excellent. Let's go raid this place and then we'll, we know where we are now. This is good. Ah, now this is relaxing. Just past these shallows. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the camera. I lost control of the camera. Whoa, what? I did I just get a random view? Alright. <laughs> Have you ever played Overwatch? If you're not lucky. Wish I never played it, it wasn't that bad. <coughs> um, unfortunate for me, I was a top 500 Reinhardt in the OCE. <laughs> and I was a commentator for Overwatch as well. So, yes. <laughs> it wasn't a bad game. It, it was actually a really terrific game. That's being mismanaged, completely dominated by Activision. Um, uh, Jeff Kaplan, amazing guy, but completely shut out by all these stupid people and expectations. And that's really harsh. Really, really harsh. Huh. <sighs> Top 500 is giving me a bad at. There's plenty of games I'm bad at. Plenty of games I'm bad at. <laughs> the reason I, I made Reinhardt was because my computer wasn't that good before while I was trying to stream. Man, Overwatch, 30 frames. 30 frames. <laughs> Can't aim for crap. The only three characters that I could use really efficiently at the top 500 level was Reinhardt, Anna, hey, and May. Up ahead. That our jungle? My my May was was a nightmare. Uh, 
but yeah, everything else is Overwatch. Is Reinhardt, as soon as I get in, everyone don't want to play tank. And the ones that do play tank will rank up with me all the time. They're like, bro, we need a tank right now, let's go. <clears throat> My friend was, I think, was a top half in the Rohan. He was really good. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat now, eh? <laughs> sure, that's. Uh. Cloud? You okay? Oh. I just. I feel like I've been here before. Summon entity Kujata. Oh. Kungaga region. Nice. Not gonna lie, I miss six men or double tank and Zyra. I miss six men. Six men was go. Triple tank was crap. Like it's it's great for meta abuse and competition, but it's crap. <laughs> Cause you can outlast forever and ever, right? There's just wouldn't if you're competing there wouldn't be ever a time that you wouldn't want to be doing it. Um Subversion. Instant death and bridge and dispel. Wow. Gotta have one of those. But yeah, I, I just didn't understand it. I didn't understand um, how, why they would even think about it. it. It's really, really crappy way of pulling the game out to his, uh, onto his own feet because you just say, oh, I want to just make you mad. Right. Anyone who says I want to make you feel like you're having a good time while playing, while while playing Overwatch, and they use triple tank, triple heal. Yeah, gone are the days where we had Team the Tapman, Seagull, and the awesome Lucio player play, um, and showing us the ways. Yeah, obviously no more. It's a real shame. It was actually a really decent game for his time. Way ahead. Way ahead. Jesus, this map is huge. And I didn't finish the world intel on the other side. Huh. They said to come back and wait. And I've waited. I guess I'll have a time. I guess when I'll... We'll come back up, that's when I'll finish it, but wow, that's disappointing. Have I played Elden Ring? Elden Ring, I have, not enough. I wish I started when everyone else was playing. Um, wow, that's actually, I'm not gonna lie, Elden Ring and Dark Souls series actually gave me a little bit of headache back then. Um, only because... I think my boomer hands and reaction can't see it properly. <laughs> I might be bad on that. There you go. I might be bad on that. Oh monster! I am a frog. Ready when you are. I am a frog. Wow. Oh. oh wait, he's back. Cool. Taken over. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> now. Okay. Hey. <laughs> ready, ready. Just a little. Oh, that was terrible. <clears throat> 
Nobody that's happy will play Souls like game, only people who hate their life will play like me. <laughs> actually, don't mind it. It's good though, beautiful scenery. I actually don't mind it, only because I think it's a great game um, for what it is. I would like to ultimately give it a try because obviously Elden Ring is, um, well, Elden Ring is coming through with his DLC. And the DLC looks amazing. Uh, but, yeah. Until then, I need to finish everything. Wifey said I need to finish things before I can consider, you know, other new games. I was like, okay. Understood. Remember, whatever Wifey wants, she gets. Oh my god. That is so annoying. Oh my god, don't die! Yes, you're a good one. that I come through here ah oh, it's this way yeah ultimately though I think good game like Yakuza is something that I need to completely finish um, one of my friends who didn't really believe in the Yakuza series said dude now that I play Yakuza I'm so in love with the game uh, he's smashed like what 600 hours onto Yakuza <laughs> I just laughed at him I'm like oh wow <laughs> You're liking it? <laughs> he goes, yes, I love it. You know, something com <laughs> coming from someone who never heard about this kind of game. I was thoroughly impressed. Uh, and I agree. If you get a chance to stop playing Yakuza for your story, you will definitely hit like a few hundred hours uh, per game. But the end game justifies so much. I remember playing and finishing Yakuza, I think it was 4? Four? 4 had a crazy, crazy story. Whoever thought about the plotline for Yakuza 4 was a genius. I just came back to what the hell I was, what the heck. What's the game about? I've seen clues but I can't put it together, it has random things. So Yakuza 4, imagine GTA, except single player, right? Um, and except... You're, you're a single player, right? Yakuza is about talking about Japanese gangsters, obviously. But the biggest thing about them is that if you ever played Shemu from the old days, or if you have not, you are controlling a character just like Cloud, like right now, right? You're basically going around the town, um, which is made up, but it's actually a town which is based off a very famous city that's got the Yakuza's. Right. The storyline is plot and twist all around. It's got a whole bunch of stuff that you can and can't do, and a whole bunch of stuff that actually goes crazy, right? Because in the beginning you might think, oh, you know, this is, you know, this is this or that. There's a lot of side quests. There's a lot of fetching quests, but you actually fight. You actually fight a whole ton. Uh, you level up. You level up your moves. You level up your skills. You do all these funny things, you, you explore the Japanese like, culture and all that. That is fun as well. You can, rookies, um, you can actually raise a hostess girl. It's like tons of mini games. And they all make sense. Eventually, they all make sense to you, right? And once you are done, holy crap. Once you are done with it, um, 
you know, the story starts revealing. Because literally, you can go through like maybe 20 to 30 hours and you, you haven't even started the game. Right? It's, it's one of those games where you literally be thinking, I played 20 hours, 30 hours. Are you saying I still haven't like touched this game? I'll say, yep. Correct. Once you do it, like, uh, let's just say, if you plan to do 100%, it's about 100 million hours. If you've got, just finished the main storyline, about 60 hours. And when you finish, I kid you not, grown ass man will drop tears. That good. Yep. Yeah, Yakuza is just like that. It's the most. Like, I. I Oh man, I shit you not when I say this. You, there's something called like a baby club. So in Yakuza, like a dragon, like infant, like um, not infant a dragon, sorry. Um, like a dragon, the first, you know, different kind of thing, right? Holy crap! There is a club where you dress yourself up as a baby. You know, you, you got a diaper and everything, you got a pacifier and all that. You're dressed as a baby and you go in to get cuddled. And you have to go in and be like a baby. There's grown ass men who's like, you know, in their 40s. They're all in a diaper. And there's quests in there, there's stuff in there. Holy Jesus. When I first saw it, I was like, this is Yakuza. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to... Oh. That arm, that magnificent arm. Uh. It is a weapon, but how does it work? Uh. A universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh. I see the code, I would okay. never guess it was a gangster game. Doing so ought to have fun. given you yeah, multiple bone fractures, but this Yakuza cylinder provides unparalleled shock there's, absorption, there's allowing this, for high impact yeah, performance. Quiet. There's this mode the genius that where you see someone do something crazy, an old friend, I guess. And your character will have an epiphany. Depending who you use, they'll either use the front to record it or they use a sculpture to quickly, <laughs> you know, to craft it, like the stance. And then they learn the move. <laughs> you know, Sorry. it's like one of these, Got you know, big ladies. She's My very plump. Izo. She gets, you know, grabbed. And she turns out to be a black girl karate and she kicks his ass. <laughs> and you're like, you whoa, that's great! <laughs> You've learned a new move. <laughs> Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. And then there's well, other ones. You need so you so have different kind not. of fighting stance as well. Leave it to us. Different Wonder. fighting stance, different characters, and they all come together. I left the map in my and in Yakuza 4, I to find what I need. there's a guy, the main character, you can switch you between brawler. You can also do things like normal traditional karate. Or gangster. Gangster one, there's a move that I had to pull off no matter what I did. Right, after you level up. You get the move. So the, what the gangster do is a counter stance, right? You have to get yourself into a rhythm. You finally get yourself in, and then he lights up a cigarette. He's like this. He goes, Shh. puts it in his mouth, right? Lighting it, trying to light it or whatever. And then if he did it correctly, he just does that. And then it's a very close scene. Someone comes in and they try to like punch or kick it, and he just moves back a little bit, and the cigarette flies off. And then he does this massive special counter and stuff, dude. Flashy as hell. Don't forget about that. If you want to help me out, you'll need flashy to know as where hell. to look. That game was oh, it was a chef's kiss, and it still is to this day. I will play Yakuza like until the day I die. That, that's how good it is. So interested in my art. And he gouges at you. That's the most important thing. It actually, the game gouges at you and makes sure. That you play it. Most folks and and after you play it, you're like, holy one. crap, I need more. <laughs> That's what I rank Yakuza. I rank Yakuza a Yakuza out of Yakuza. Honestly, some of the best things ever. Some of the best things ever. 
And one day, I'll replay some of my favorite RPGs, like when I get the time, like uh, Grandia 2, you know, Skies of Arcadia. Must be the map he's always talking wow. about. Skies of Arcadia. What well, a dream RPG. It's ready. been locked behind Sega and Nintendo for so long that I don't even know what to say. Okay, so behind the shed one. What am I looking at? In this tree. It's this tree. Huh? So I'm looking at it like that. Oh, it's this tree. Oh my god. So what happens here? Do I call my chocobo? Whoa. Oh, wait. So tearing action. Never mind. Turn action is just jump. What? What the absolute hell? Okay, guess I'll follow this golden bird. As soon as you know you're doing something and there's like, ah, more distractions. Holy crap. Completely negligible that if you, you know, whether you do this or not. But if you want the maximum experience of FF, <laughs> finish everything. <laughs> I have, to, I have to let my friend this game right after. There's so much to do. He will finish 100% of this game. Oh! Okay. Okay. That's a lot of circles. <laughs> Let's get back into trying to work that clue off, which I have no idea. Examine. It's pointing at this tree. Unless there's something just around here that I can't see. Oh! Huh? There is a disc. So confused. Find the drac drac draconite draconite deposit. I'm assuming this is the draconite deposit. Nani? What? Okay. Maybe that's not the deposit. Is it this? All right, all right, all right. Clearly, I'm not. I'm not getting it. There's something wrong with this clue. Hang on. This is the dog. 
the dog on this side. The barrel looking. It is here. This is that tree. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hang on. Can I go to here? Follow the left side. Okay. And then next note. Once you go to the circle map, man, look at this. No mercy for you. This way. Once you come to this thing, it's on the top right here. Aha! Uh -huh. Should be somewhere around here. Jeez! Clues! And a uh, mini boss fight? Ugh! No! Flyers! Yes, I gotta. Keep it together. Keep it together. I'm coming! Got it. Here it comes! One more shot! <laughs> Why don't you leave the Let's way? Too bright? Oh, stop. Oh, no. Dagger win. Best deal of right. Let's go! Ready? Ready? I have go on! With me. You rank? <laughs> what the? Close. Where's my Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom! Come on! I got you! They fly, they fly! Ah! Got a heal for Oh my god, I, I can't get it because it's on a funny wet angle. Wow. Brace yourself. Okay, cool. You're good. Whoa. <laughs> I am on fire today. Well, I've been pretty rough on you, I know. But you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. I don't know where I'd be without you. Yes. Right on. Still got more to find. Cool. Blue ores, um, yeah, I guess in this zone to get everything and this fetch quest might be important. Weaponsmith always makes broken overpowered weapons and I'm hoping for it. Hoping for it. Uh, how to get to here? Jump? Um, ah, perfect. Oh, this will teleport in your front. I feel like they forced this one. Didn't need to really make this a little bit of a call today. Is that there something special? Yes, there is something it special. Is. Of course. Let's head back and check in with these up. Uh, of course. Do, 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 do. Hello, Chocolate Ball. Sure. 
Okay. And inside here, there's two chests. Which is dark for me to see. Kisses. Okay. That's done. Um, maybe I should be near enough to do this activation. Man, the worst thing is right now I can't call a chocobo. What I will give to call a chocobo right now. And I'll have to run back into this place. Wow, feels bad. But that's okay. Um, cause this jungle is huge. Oh, what's in my eye? Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. This interaction, I'm actually really fond of. I don't mind doing like all these tower fetching quests because you can explore maps. Uh, what the heck? Oh! <laughs> they give me a tower on the other side? Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect a proto relic, I suspect these issues may be related. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on. And remember, when surveying. Okay, Mir. We'll skip those. Proto relic. Divine Intel. Oh, that felt like a wasted one. Well, this is a huge map. Just when you thought you would have, like, you know, skipped a few this and that. No, you have it. You, you barely, barely covered it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is it Draconi or? Please tell me you can give me better. Oh, did you find everything? Yeah. Look at him. He's such a gangster. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. Mm. <laughs> oh, needed a switch. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. I've done it. The gong's bigger. Feast your eyes on my masterpiece. My gift to you. I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. 
Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what That's good true. I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow, years from now, think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. Hmm. <laughs> Fafnir Maybe rifle. Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> that's actually a we good have idea. Time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So you got it. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. What a man. Do we do we not get a sword? Oh, we don't get a sword. No. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly though. True. A weirdo with a heart of gold. True. Where is my weapons? Let's see. Point blank. Max MP, attack 9, magic 17, one more slot. I feel like it's better than this. My bonus run is so good. I mean, might as well. Barato. Revival, AP up, lightning. Oh, wait, he's doing two lightning? Lightning and wind. Oh, that's already max. GG. Some ice material. Um, I feel like he benefits so much from elemental. Jeez. HP. There's nothing to give him. ATB boost? No, probably not. Lock up would have been good. ATP stagger. Actually, that's good. Enhance overcharge. Nice. Staggering charge. Reduce overcharge upon. Wow. Enhance elements. Actually, let's just do attack. Increase damage dealt with limit breaks by 10%. No, do that. Wow, this is a GG weapon. I want to dump the sleek saber. I have not finished upgrading rune blade. Oh, wow! I suck. I should finish getting all this unlocked. How come my Buster Sword is not freaking upgraded? What? Nani? Wow, my red thirteen is even worse. Never mind. Defend Lustrous Shield. Attack damage 5%. Plus 20 raw damage. Yes, sir. Why 
Guys, my bracelet sucks. What? Why am I using that? Holy moly. What happened to my Tifa? You can carry a revival material uh, and. Huh. Magnify. Wow. I don't know what to give her. Lock up? Spirit up? Okay. And she can finally have a friggin' summon. She can have Alexander. Lock up, level boost. Oh, my dear lord. I'm not giving him crap. Healing. Revival. He has no summon. Move or decoy. Reduce damage taken by a move like a jockey. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that works. Um. Uh, why is that so far? Divine Intel that way. Wow, there's so much crap. Regular chocolate boat. Are you serious? Don't tell me I have to go in there. Uh, how to get up there. Show me the way, ancients! That's a pretty good teeny conversation. Tiny. Teeny tiny. The president believed the figure was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Ah, Kujata. Some nine to five, nobody you are. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Perfect. that I don't have okay no worries since there's nothing else better to do uh, we'll go to here follow the main storyline 
Probably be the only way to go through it. Uh uh uh. Why was there green stuff? Hang on a second. Was weird. I don't know. I have no idea what the hell that was, but all right. Hmm. Okay, cool. Cool. We need to get a forest chocolate bow and then chuck it all. Hello? The village of Gongaga awaits. How time. do we the get in there? Starving. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. Oh, I'm assuming I have to get a chocolate bow only. Yep. Okay, chocolate bow. <laughs> so, yeah, chocolate bow, and then from there, then. They jump over back here. Oh man! This to do. Tame of forest truckle boat. Okay. <gasps> hey, Gongaga! They are Gongaga mushrooms. <laughs> Gungaga. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Oh. Passing through. Oh. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Look at my sexy blade. <laughs> Who are you people? I, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we well then. Oh. Yeah, my mushroom. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Sisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am. Ma'am. Wow. You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. She's got yellow eyes. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Oh, I have to follow her. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. They designed her really well. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. I 
I like her outfit. <laughs> so out of place. Thank you. So what is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day. So they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's <laughs> nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. Truth. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. I'm uh gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously, get some rest, okay? Oh, there's. Lock boot players. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, and there's a piano piece. Oh man, I'm starting to like this town more and more. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. Ooh. What sort of thing would you go for? <laughs> gonna go with a pot roast. Gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? We need meat. I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Look at Tifa. We'll wipe the material right there. She will make a pot roast. A pot, pot, pot roast. Pot roast. <laughs> she will make the meat. It's time to play piano. Let's go. Where's that piano? Uh huh. Cinco de Chocobo? Okay. Maybe I should play some of these songs. Maybe I should. Let's see. Uh, select piece. Let's see how hard this one is. I can't believe I made mistakes on this. 
time we saw on the stream, my waffle went out. Gonna head to bed because it's getting late. See me here looking. Good on, going from. Good on, Sim. Have a good one, man. Rest well. Rest well. I'll catch you in the next one, man. <laughs> Look at the note speed. You can turn on the note speed. Oh, I'm gonna try this. But yeah, rest well. <laughs> Let me see what this is. I want it faster because it's too slow. <laughs> Definitely faster. I missed that. Are you kidding me again? <laughs> uh, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, it should have been a start to be honest, but turning that no speed up higher, it's, it's pretty funny. I can't believe this is an A as well. Uh. Okay, quit the performance. Perfect. An encore. No, no encore for you. How may I be of service to you? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Would you care to share? Two more. Okay. Blood Zujin. Ah. Come now, that's enough. Jijun. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but. My back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time. Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. Great Melboro. Only play low with the power of ally enemy cards affected by those by six. Back with six. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mulligan. Oh well. Thank God I have that. If he doesn't play mid, I'm gonna destroy him. Alright. Don't you dare. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! That cut on the bottom. Oh. That cut on the bottom destroyed me. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Do I get another one? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Keep that back! QC4, WC4? Alright. Uh, well, that works. I can replace with Grand Horn as well. Ah, perfect. Perfect. still use this to destroy that. Woo! Easy peasy. Very nice. Perfection. Well, I'll be. Aren't you something? 
Why, you were running circles around me like one of those professional racing chocobos. So is that how all you young folk play these days? Oh. Queen's blood sure has changed. Us old timers can't keep up anymore. Mm. But you know, that's exactly the way it should be. You're better off <laughs> harnessing that energy. Well, you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older and your back starts giving you no say in the matter. That's why you should spend your youth getting up to all. If you ever tire yourself out, though. Okay, buddy. Talking a lot. I can't move. Wow. Okay, that's one Queen's Blood guy. What is this? Tax shop. Um, community notice board. Snaps. Chatley. Okay. <clears throat> Children of the planet, open your heart to the words of our mother. Oh. Ares is Aquinas's. There is such thing. What? Don't tell me we have to keep going with this. No. Oh, Cloud. Friend of yours? Come in. Please. Mm -hmm. Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach. Oh! Zach. Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zach. Zach Fair. Oh boy. Zach? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Yeah, she is. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. Zach's parents. G G. It's a nice little shade. Wait, I see a family portrait. No, I don't. Never mind. Hey. That wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zach, right? At the playground. How he was my first love? Oh dear. Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's a oh lot. Oh dear. <sighs> so when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. 
Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. You're too hard on yourself. Bet it was good for them to get it all out. I hope you're right. So, this Zack guy, you still like him? Of course not! Wow. <laughs> you went there, huh? <laughs> Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. <sighs> yes. Any news? Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Cloud! <laughs> he's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, damn, look at Zach Tifa's abs. Adam. Holy crap. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. No, I don't want to risk just yet. We want to play some Queen's Blood, though. Where's that Queen's Blood? Wow, it's far. Okay, it's fine. Oh, you buying? I thought you just wanted to chew the fat. Have oh. yourself a good day. No. Don't be a stranger. No, wrong cancel. We don't stop at your normal sundries. We sell materia too. Jungle Arcanum. Cool. Always appreciate some extra. Uh, I think I would like an extra item master. That's nice. Use bravery bonding. Kinda wish that you can get access to some more other materials. Would have liked to have some more freaking love to have some extra speed that sucks can i interest you in some fresh uh, never mind maybe i should splurge for once and get the grapevine that ezo singing a different tune. what's the matter oh it's Oscar? a chocobo play uh, you there don't ask how i can tell but you're into queen's blood aren't you isn't that great oscar i found oh let boy. me introduce you this is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. Watch he, chocobo. So, how about it? Okay. I mean, sure. Griffin, replace an ally and raise the power of ally cards affected on the tiles by the replaced ally's power. For a one cause, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. That's not a bad draw. Cool. 
Come on, give me my Titan. No Titan, okay. Ah. Give me that back. Bro, where's where's my Titan? Spot left, buddy. Oh, what? Give me that back. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what? Oh. with a bit Son of a... Oh! Nah, he can't beat me. I can't believe he came back from behind on that one. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord. That was rough. Nothing because this guy kept on depowering me. Wow, what to say to that? Nine. Oh, I'm losing every lane. Slightly tougher. mid invasion or oh, invasion
That works. That doesn't work. That. I just got a chocobo? What? Surely you don't have any more looking cards. Hey. That's better. That Griffin Whoa. card for one cost is pretty okay. This is the first time I've ever seen Oscar lose. Didn't expect that. Uh. <laughs> Seems like he's a little bitter. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for indulging him. He can make it a lot harder for us to do our jobs when, believe it or not, he'll be up against a dog that plays Queen's Blood. And we have to make sure he no, wins. We beat that dog he'll already. Drive up tourism here. <laughs> he'll pull it off. All right, that's pretty good. Weapons. Got anything I can fix? My Old man's napping. So Am I missing any weapons? Oh, oh hello, welcome. <laughs> and Yuffie, Ritha, Ting, Aries, and oh my god. Uh, actually, I want them to have the magic. Yeah, magic. Spot three. Got all the weapons. Well, sleep waits for no one. Patriot strength. Cool. Brave firing ice barrier. Subversion breach. Man, I'm so cheap to the rest of this team. So cheap. What do elemental this one? Healing assess. Huh. What should I do? Maybe not. Hmm. Lock up. Put an item master. Yellow megaphone. <laughs> oh, I am out. Uh, okay. Still good. MPR. Hmm. 
magnify. Magnifying power. Can I do that to myself? So I can do like everyone together? Huh. Alright, let's track the safe. I'm actually chapter 9. I kept saying chapter 8. I'm gonna quickly take a BRB, guys. I will be right back. I'm gonna take 5 minutes. Ugh. Also, can drink some water. Wow. Hmm.
All right. Oh, really needed that kickback. Oh, wow. Oh, charge. Very good. Oh, hello, Max. <laughs> Fuse bad. Fuse bad. Oh, yes. Oh. I was, yeah, I don't know why, I, I, I was out, I was out, out, needed a tiny break just for that, but right, let's go, whew, man, now that we're in chapter 9, things are starting to make more sense, um, not all the sense in the world, but enough sense. This must be. And take a photo over here. Hey there. I didn't take the photo the you again. I don't think I did. Since you're here, mind if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? With some fun guy? It's a fungi. <laughs> okay. Feels like time passes slower here, especially compared to the city. Everyone seems so at peace. I'd love to get a shot that if you come across a spot that might look good in photos, I'd love to hear about it. This must be one of Gengaga's famous mushrooms. Eh. Only ever seen them in preserves. There we go. What a beautiful color. These look good enough to eat, and I might just do that. Conveying flavor through a visual okay. medium. Chadley, what kind of material do you have for offering? Well, hello, here? Cloud. The tires are reinforced, which means you can... This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. Petrify. Wait. Why is Petrify Quake? Isn't it just quake? Resistance petrifies stone. Oh man, I totally wasted my freaking development points. Magic focus material. Um, limit siphon. Use limit siphon. Oh! I suffer from my own guys. Synergy support. Increase synergy by one when the other party member uses synergy ability. Allows you to absorb allies. Wow. Okay, we need that. We need everything. We need everything. Uh -huh. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Cloud. You may now fight. I encourage you to pit your skills against the summoned entity. Right. Jata. <sighs> At any cost, self destruct. How come I come? Alright, let, let's try it again. How come I can't defeat this guy? I was off by 10% dips. You're up. Let me out. Bet that. Let's go. That's it. With me. With you. Two thousand. You're up. I got you. Ah, uh, because I got hit by this. Solid. Do it. You ready? With me. I'm dead. <laughs> No. Wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move. Let's go. Cool. Ah, no. Not 
can do self-destruct. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Enemy skill self-destruct. Enemy skill self-destruct. Alright, let's try Kujata. Uh, we'll, we'll try this one as well. Haven't tried this one. How to use Keichi. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Press square to perform. Press triangle while okay, casing this one. So, kitty wallop. Oh my god. Drop kick! <laughs> That's so goofy! <laughs> okay. Evade an attack, fuse ATB, roll the dice. It's a two. Hyper beam. Oh my god. Meow 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 Okay. He's actually fun. His attack sucks, but he's actually fun. That's right. While on the field, we'll go attacking using independently. You'll withdraw the battle once he reaches zero. It can be something again. That's uh... right. Also dispel my presence soon. <laughs> Key wave rolling thunder. Let's roll the bars. Oh, what's the king? One fire and thunder. What? What? <laughs> okay. Quite fun. That's a little attack. Move meter will feel press stronger while mounting will clear the meter activate. Ah, uh, that's fine. That worked again. Oh, it's one! Holy smokes! This is what? Wait. Drop kick! Drop kick! Drop kick! Drop kick! When the Mugumido gains one charge, you activate fight, defend, wild. Add two charges, silence, slam, toxic, petrified, hard driver. Okay. What? Okay, 
Do I have to go for it? Doesn't say. A limit break. Magic. Seems good. Hyper beam. Generative more expensive shield. Ah, so every one of them is good. Yeah, I have to drop kick until I get to that. Wow, what the hell? So wacky, but it's fine. We'll take a five star performance. Lock up. All right, Kujata. Looks great. Ah, uh, not a good time. Bro. Switches between fire, ice, and lightning. Deal a certain amount of damage, we'll exploit. Uh, and remove this card for you. Let's on check. Small element to be in. You will only try disaster. Man. With me, coming. Wow. Do it. Let me out. Not a lot of damage. Damn. Okay, 
That looks like lizard. Okay, lightning. Uh, lightning will be Sonic Boom. Ow. Fucking the cost it, please. doesn't have anything like that. Is here. Time to burn. Am I dead? Oof! I won't give up. This guy's dead. Oh my god! Yeah, good afternoon. Oh, I am Yimo now. <laughs> What's up, Javis? What's going on, man? It's actually been a while since I've streamed on a Wednesday properly, right? Because the last two Pokemon Unite stream was unsuccessful. <laughs> uh, Let's go. Okay. Are you sick? Uh, that's a rip. I don't know what being sick, man. This is what it is. That's like how I got stomped on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You're up. I'm in. Ready, with ya. Do it. Meanwhile, I'm trying to destroy this thing. Okay, so fire first. No one Just had a heck hold while kicking my ass. Hey man, heck hold is serious business. It's actually one of the more dangerous stuff to be having around. Holy moly. Quite a lot of things. A lot of things. Oof. Jesus. Um, so, we did miss was barbecue. I've been having so many, so many barbecues. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. <laughs> it's just barbecue galore. That's all I've been having. Um, and then after that. Yeah, there's actually quite a few things. Quite a few things that I've been having. 
Most importantly, here's barbecue. Man. Remove the affinity. I didn't remove the affinity apparently. Oh my god. It's blocked. Oh my god. Gotta be careful. Yeah, plenty to watch YouTube videos, so I couldn't make it. Please stuck in bed. Dude, don't be sorry, man. You're, you're sick! How can you... There is no way I'm gonna hold that against you, man. No, take it easy! It's all good. I just want you to actually get better. Right? My videos can wait. My streams can wait. Your health cannot wait. I'd rather you be healthier than pulling anything. Don't mind me, I, I'm literally playing games, like, dazing out. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm gonna die again, just because I can't get rid of the affinity. How the hell are you supposed to get rid of that affinity? Oh my god. Bro, that's rough. <laughs> oh, look at that! What am I supposed to do in this situation? I won't give up. Okay, but we'll just run out of breath. Is it that through and through? You got it. You don't get to become a dad without saying you need your health first. Dude, let me try and play that. The rest of the Ronin? I have not. I actually haven't. I've been thinking about it, but I decided against it. Crap, I'm dead. I'm actually, I'm actually not playing it right now because I've got Dragon Ball. They release side by side. You know what I mean? It's so good. Damn it, man. Ah, I can't beat it on that difficulty. Crap. It's so good. Really? A lot of people has been telling me it hasn't been the greatest in kind of like release. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, this data is incredible. Thank you for your yeah, contribution. Dude, if you're playing it. If you're playing it, Needless you know. To say, Many Obviously, you're the first one to on tell me road. that it's so actually care. a really good game. Everyone else has been telling me controversial stuff. Uh, I've just been like, going, okay, okay, then. You know what I mean? Like, Dragon's Dogma. I, I had the maddest time training my so, Dragon's Dogma character. So bored. Bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go insane. Wow. I am so, so bored. <laughs> bored right out of my brain. I love an encore. <laughs> I'd love an encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally I charge an orb per song, but I'll make a special exception this time. Oh my god, if you're so goes. cute. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. <laughs> if I don't die first, betcha I'll go insane. She's great. <laughs> It's got Dark Souls element, where if you die, they, <laughs> they take your respect. The combat is hard to master by so satisfying. There's so many times in the game though, running bosses. Randomly encounter and kick my ass because I didn't encounter the... It's one of those Team Ninja games. Mm. Team Ninja games are all like that. I actually really enjoy um, some of the old Ninja Gaiden series. <coughs> However, um, I don't know, too many good games to be played. What's the controversy? Um, 
I will say the controversy surrounding it is just like an off-brenner Sekiro that's not as good or that if you play Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima is a better version in every aspect. Um, and it's not as near polished because it's just boring. Um, when I was playing Ghost of Tsushima, man, there was times where I was actually exploring and bored, but it was always really good. It's always been like up there. But when I was playing, um, when I was playing, what is it, uh, Sekiro? bosses one after another which is cool but the thing is a lot of people who play both and really liked it everyone's looking forward to rise of ronin then they this? said dude from the rise of ronin sucks because it pales in comparison to the experience that goes to tsushima and, Se and sekiro and i guess you know that kind of stopped me but it didn't really stop my expectations the biggest one for me was that i've got dragon's dogma 2 uh, and so I have to finish that and I have to finish everything else so I can't really get into Rise of Ronin So I'm putting that into the back burner for maybe one day But I'm glad you're enjoying it. You know what I mean? If you enjoy it, it doesn't matter who says what It just means that by your standards, it's really good. It's a great game that everyone should give it a try And that's and that's hey, exactly what it matters. That? Yeah, gotta be a weapon Fair points it's similar, I would say, but I'll say, in my opinion, it's a Dark Soul version. Ghost was kind of easy mode. Oh, yeah. Wait, Ghost of Tsushima is easy. You know something about but the one this? thing about Ghost of Tsushima is... Oh, sure! Oh, sure! Well, yeah. every time we find the Mongols. For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but... Some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. So all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. No, ain't that something. You could see them? Uh, yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? <sighs> oh, yeah. Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. <laughs> oh, come on. I just want to help out. Be a part of the team. Yeah, because you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. No fair! No fair! Oh no, that means I got what, Barrett? Oh, I got Barrett and Dax. I can't see. Oh boy! Tell me, have you been playing Pokemon Unite? The most important question. Because <laughs> I have not touched Pokemon Unite for a while. I feel like I should be. Feel like. Rice is relentless. The combat is more complex. There's a lot to grind in terms of fighting techniques. You're not limited in Ghost to just act like a freaking samurai. Like in Ghost. Um, that's an annoying part. You can grind different weapon variants and there are a few items to make them stronger. There's cool crafting and potions gathering make it stronger and shares of RPG element to rise. There's awesome customizations in the game so you fully make a character. But that's a fair explanation. That's a pretty fair explanation. I guess like, you know, one of these days when I say it's time to get good, you know, it's, it's time to actually start Rise of Ronin, you know what I mean? 
Because I remember finishing Ninja Gaiden. Oh my god. Ninja Gaiden was a cesspool. Ninja Gaiden was a cesspool. You know, all of all that. While it is all good, this and that, it also destroyed me. Oh! This it? I has it as well. I got your number. Now, With me. Graphically, it's not as good as goes, but it's a different art style. They took a lot of inspiration. That's for sure. They took a ton of inspirations um, in order to get there. Uh, and I, I can respect that. I can actually respect that. Uh, you don't want it to be boring. You want the good stuff from Ghost of Tsushima and, and get there um, while keeping the Ninja Garden part. That's the most important thing. Is there enough Ninja Garden part that to determine that this is actually your fancy game? I think a lot of us was, you know, having a mixed max reaction, and I think that could just be something that we want to get in. <laughs> One day, hopefully. But yeah, I have seen some combat. Some of the combat, don't get me wrong, I have seen, and I think that was crazy. Like, especially some people playing with hard mode, they were just like, bro, that's how you play. Come on, get on! You're up! Come on, What the heck? Let's go! You're on? The combat is really satisfying when you get it right and time you perfect. I think that's the truth with all, um, I guess, with all kind of Souls like game or hard mode game. I actually enjoy Sekiro. Sekiro, by all means, was a surprising, refreshing take. You know, when you do the right things and stuff, the right timing, jump right. Sometimes even if you jump right, you do the wrong thing. Or if you're like overly greedy, get punished. That's actually quite cool. I remember running through Dark Souls as one of the Jokers. For me, that was fun. Um, just a troll. I don't know. That was a lot of trolling. Tell you that right now. That was a heck of a lot of trolling. <laughs> Man, that, oh, the turn on that was not good. That killed me. But yeah, for me, I need to play Rise of, I, I, man, there's, there's too much stuff for me to play. There is way too much stuff. It doesn't make sense. How does this name know about the whispers? And after this, after finish Persona, I have to True. finish Unicorn Overlord, o Overlord, 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 we'll see. and I still have to keep up with Tekken. I actually don't know how many people still play Tekken. Like, honestly, I think there's still quite a significant amount of people trying to get good, but the amount of people that's trying to, like, be this and that, I think is slowly starting to retire. Because people who is actually serious about the game are either ranking up, or quit <laughs> because they can't get it. It is a phenomenal game. And it's not the best of a made, but for a free Rome Ninja Samurai game, fills the gap for a game like until Ghost 2. Yeah, true. Ghost 2. Mm. Yeah. I cannot wait, man, to play Jin again. You're like, Ugh. you have no honor because <laughs> he assassinates too many people. <laughs> it's like, oh man. I'm always, always having like the worst uh, weather, right? Because the more you assassinate, the worse the weather gets. You have to play the flute to calm it down. Yeah, man, that was cool. So after this, I still got Unicorn Overlord, which is a Nintendo Rare Switch game. And then I still need to. I still need to play. Um, yeah. 
And Persona 3 is like... 100 hours? Or 120 hours? <sighs> and then there's Sandland, Aiden uh, Chronicles that's releasing. Sandlands is Akira Toriyama, the maker of Dragon Ball's uh, Dragon Ball um, final game. You know, so many things that I will have to like try to finish. You heard of Sandland, right? Yeah! Sandland looks like a spectacular game. You know? And I'm not gonna pass off the final game by the maker of Dragon Ball? No way. I am gonna play it. Like no tomorrow. Um, to see exactly what the game is like. And it looks really cute. It looks like it's my childhood kind of uh, memory kind of thing. Um, especially since if you watch Dragon Ball, uh, you're or instantly see the crossover with the mechs and stuff. It's exactly stuff that you'll see in Dragon Ball. So, you know, it's really good. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. What the heck? When's Dragon Dogma? I want to play, but I've heard mixed things. I've actually already played Dragon's Dogma for like a stream, but it, like the performance wasn't good because of the Nuvo, and so I was very disappointed. But I had a freaking amazing game. Uh, an amazing time um, creating my character. But don't worry, I am gonna play Dragon's Dogma 2 as well. Don't worry, that's actually on the list. I bought Dragon's Dogma 2 with. Um, what is it? I bought it from the beginning. Actually, pre ordered it. Uh, I've been throwing my ball. I've been throwing, I've been throwing everyone. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. I've been throwing everyone. Bird, lead me to your master. This is a game I really want to try out. Which one? <laughs> is that the thing that looks like Little Company? Content I warning. Life yeah. data. I was able to locate it. It appears to be the terrain. Please watch it. Yep. I've been requested to play content warning. Actually, don't I need people to play it? Because I can't play by myself. Uh, I don't have a. I don't have a bow. It's fine. The concept is so good. Hey. I've seen the concept for it, definitely. Um, I guess at the end of the day, I will have to like um, find some people to play that with. Can't just play by myself. That's not a game for the solo play. You know what? I should play. This one for you. I should play a Monas VR. A Monas VR, because I have VR. Yeah. So. Now, that would be amazing. That's it. You play with me? Content warning? Yeah. All right. If that is the request, I'll go and buy it as well. <laughs> if I, as long as I got people to play around with, I'll probably buy the game. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll most likely drop a game if there's not enough players or no one's interested in playing. I see if I can't jump over that. Oh my god. Uh, um, 
What the heck? And I can't fast travel here. Oh, you're kidding me. Can I jump down this way? Man. It's like six pounds here is crazy. It's an indie game, right? They probably made like a few million dollars now because it's 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 so popular. <laughs> we wanna see that, you know, we wanna see more of this kind of like crazy ass game where like it's it's funny and it's just party games. More than anything, I think when we were playing um, Jackbox, Jackbox Party 6, or was it 4? I played an incessantly amount of hours on that one stream. Right? That, that's where I played a ton on stream. Everyone was playing it because of community stream. And now that the community is getting back up there, it's. Possibly soon, we're gonna restart the community streams. I'm just not sure what to do because it's Sundays. That's when the community streams was all around. I wonder if I can shaft it onto like a Saturday, where it's like you know, Saturday play whatever the hell you want. You know, do whatever the hell you want. You know, dealer's choice. You literally just you know try different games, whether it's old, whether it's new. Enough people play it, you know, and it, it would just be great all around. Uh, that's what I want to ultimately do. 100% a rising story like power and hell divers is always good to see yeah hell divers my certain game of the year that's costing me uh, the greatest amount of impatience you're up. I think Should I refund it and put it on PS5? I have refunded it. I'm gonna buy it on the PS5. Sorry about that. Don't come back. <laughs> yeah, no problems. Uh, dude. Look at how much I'm paying. Just like what I need to dedicate in order to play a goddamn game. Imagine all the pain that I'm doing. Uh, I did like a full tech session to see if I can actually play the game somehow on the computer But it is not working for me. I belong to the 20% that just can't do it So it's gonna, gonna be on the PS5 and I have to get the PS Plus uh, Just in order to play one game ONE GAME Miserable uh, And I could have shown the whole world just at how amazing and expressive I am with my fingers. <laughs> you know, just uh, how quick I can get the stratagems down just doing WASD. Well, I suppose I can just you know, use my hands normally. Um, but yes. Ha! <sighs> Heavily disappointed. And I have no bloody clue how to get to here. What the hell? I am so lost. I'm gonna say I love playing on the PS5. Moonjing! You know, comfy armchair just playing chill games. I, I just wanna kill some bugs. I just wanna play the Starship Troopers music on it while killing bugs and shout, Do you wanna live forever? Come and get some! You know, that's all I wanted to do with the game. Everything else was secondary. That's how much I love Helldivers 1. Helldivers 1 was one of the greatest games ever made. Ever for the PS3. You cannot change my mind. Like, out of all the things that went onto PS Plus, Helldivers was on PS Plus, on PS3. And everyone who played the game all knew that we were in for a treat. What the heck? Mongjing? Sorry, British slang. Mongji. I don't know about that one. You need to teach me some British slang, man. <laughs> I can start talking with a British accent. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I just wanted to make fun of my some of my friends as well. They actually went to the UK for a while and actually got a few of my friends expatting uh, from Great Britain. And they had yeah. the greatest accent. I love them. Came back swinging. They the always come to me. What's good for life hey, is ZK. good for reactors. 
You're all right, mate. You're just like, what is it? They go, you all right? I'm like, all right. <laughs> Loved it. Whispers. No, not as we know it's like, them. It's like, you're taking a piss. How you thinking? All the time. Every time they say you're taking a piss at me, I crack up laughing. It's so funny. Come. It's time. Uh, your British accent needs work. Oh, he needs a heavy ton of work. <laughs> Let's follow. Come on. Uh, uh, yo, I love the British accent. It's so good. It's so good. And also, I love my BBC shows. They need to release more BBC shows so I can watch in we Australia. Must be close by now. How much longer? Oh my God, we Scarlet. expect to arrive I within the hour. That. <laughs> Then I'd better choose a suitable toy. Jur, not no, Jin. Necessary, for the G Mong. Of course. Jur Mong. What? I'll make sure that it is. Mong Juring? <laughs> Mong Juring. Are you serious? Jur, not Jin. Mong Juring. Or is it Mong Juring? Oh, Mong Juring. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have been like, you're taking a piss. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, God. <laughs> are you, are you mongering? I'm sending you audio. All right, send me the audio. I need to hear this. <laughs> Outlaw Bango, oh. Yeah. Hang on, is it here yet? Let me know. Counter. Very out of focus. Yeah, I need level seven. Max MP. Double Punisher. All right, let me hear this. Monging. Monging. <laughs> Expect it was monging. I've been stuffing that one up the whole time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, bro, that, that's funny. <laughs> uh. Oh, dude. I don't know if you heard of this show, it's a rather old one. Me and my friends, we used to like talk about it all the time and watch. Um, you know, we, we watched this show called... Uh, wait, it's coming back to me. Man! Man, because of the Mongi now, I can't remember what's it called. Hang on. It's on Prime. It's on Prime Video. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Wait. God. It's, it talks about a group of grifters. 
there's a group of grifters it, it's rather old show it's only uh, it's got I think eight seasons uh, and six episodes per oh my god I bloody hell Uh, BBC show with grifters. Hustle! That's it! It was hustle! Only fools and horses? Oh, well. Let's just say it was great. It was great. Hustle is a. It's another thing. Yeah, I love Hustle. Yeah, man, Hustle was such a good show. Oh, what the hell is this? Ah, that's fine. Yeah, even like the show was so good that even some of the like you know the people that is actually like you know the villain in it, the victim, right, the Mark, right, they're now actually famous. I was like, bro, I know this guy. Like, he's moved up in the world. Credits to him. Holy crap, you know, kudos. I feel like there's nothing for me to use. It. Okay. Yeah, man. Religiously, we watched it. I even re watched Hustle. Um, and I thought. It was time well worth it. Um, it's got as good they got recognition they deserve. Hard, hard. Like a lot of the times you'll see people drop off for no reason and they just you don't hear from them anymore. But then a, a lot of those guys, yeah, they're actually uh, completed. Yeah, they're, they're in the greatest stance they've ever been to, and now they are someone who to be competing against, which. Yeah, it's great, you know, we want to see more of them, get some more extra stuff. I think I saw uh, one of the villains actually got... Uh, what did he become? I think he was in a movie or something that I just saw like really recently. And I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, my like, color me surprised. I was, I was very, very surprised. This accessory, what the hell? Who does? Well, did you see the new Star Wars series coming out, Acolyte? Dude, I'm all over it. I, I'm all over it. It's not all Republic that I want, but it's, cl it's close. They're starting to like play around with it, and I'm liking it. More than anything, I want them to release more Star Wars The Old Republic. I want them to turn the non canical stuff back into canon. Please, can we just get that going? I want to see, like, if Disney can do anything right right now, is that they can actually just go ahead and give us some love with the Old Republic. Give us Rivon, please. That's all we're looking for, Rivon. Yeah, we we want to see the beginning of the Sith. Yeah, we we want to we want to see a whole planet. Yeah, give us a whole body. Yeah, that will make me happy. Want to see Darth Darth Vader in my life? Yeah, how cool would be that, right? I reckon that would be one of the greatest things that they can ever do. And you can't stuff that up. They've got such big, like you know, crystals. So they got so so much of a budget and green screens they can freaking do it they've just been holding us back the whole time that's what i've been thinking infinity's end oh my god why not unleash an overhead strike increased damage cost to atb plus 18 to magic attack we'll have to come back to this one losing so much don't know man 
what Disney is thinking to do and how they're axing a whole bunch of superhero shows is great and all. To be honest, they didn't need to like ax superhero shows, is that they keep giving it to like the wrong people. Uh, and that kind of pisses me off. Like, we didn't need She Hulk. We didn't need, you know, some crappy this or that. We didn't need. I mean, they, they stuffed up, um, what is it, Secret Invasion? Which I thought was a shame, because he had, you know, Emilia Clark, and he had Samuel Jackson. Wasting panels like that really uh, chafed me the wrong way. Imagine if they just did and stuck to the uh -huh. good old fashion. Like, get Thunderbolts ready. Don't explain, just do. You know? That would have been great. How great was Loki? Do it! It's just unbelievable. And they gave a lot of data to the locals. And I criticized these people. Especially they stuffed up uh, episode 7, 8, 9. That might be, I, I was still like, you know, fangirling over everything that was in Star Wars 7, 8, 9. I just wasn't happy on what they did with it. They butchered, they butchered the legacy left behind by Luke Skywalker, which I thought was crazy. So much story to all Republic lore, they can do so many things with the French. Yeah, they can, you know. They're also acting Star Wars games, which is annoying. Like the open world bounty game where we're gonna get... Dude, it's EA. Screw EA! You know what I mean? At the end of the day, EA can just... eat it. <laughs> Greedy, crappy, I don't know, and I don't want to know about what they were thinking with the A crap. All I want to know is, you know, give it to a proper studio and let them handle it. Not Activision, you know, not some crappy off brand of dice, you know, just some people who just likes the games. Just let it play out as it is. They would be happy. Can't call in there. What the heck? I'm in the wrong area. Like a cypress that I missed? Hmm. Yeah, Luke's legacy was messed up. Right? Really sad. He's supposed to re-establish the whole order. You know, Leia was supposed to be trained properly. I mean, they, they did train her. True. But what else did they do? They didn't do crap. She, they gave her the send-off. Which I thought was crazy. I thought that, like, you know, I was like, how oh. dare you? You know, screw that part up. And also, they were supposed to have more than one kid. Instead of focusing on Ray, probably one of the... <laughs> one of the... What? Protagonists out there? I don't know, man. I, I don't really... I don't know. Introducing Ray for me was kind of a mistake. I didn't understand it. I was I was kind of be like, hmm? what is this? Oh, worst. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't understand race introduction. Uh, I was kind of like, you know, side eyed with it. I was going, Ugh. you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, it's now wrecked. There's no way that they can recover unless they decide to say it's non-canon. It's it's completely crap. And that could be something that we can muck around with. Unfortunately, you know, whatever that. Oh, it was this. If they, you know, just have the balls to go and cancel things, you know, despite everyone else's claims of this and that, then I'm happy with it. She's so pretty quick and her backstory is lame. It's lame to begin with. And how she had the Jedi training like that. Let's put it like this. She's not Luke. She's not the child of the destined child. You know what I mean? At least Luke, he was hope. And he wasn't just, you know, any kind of hope. He was the child of Senator Amadella or Queen Amadella. Get ready. You know? You're up. And on top. He was the son of the greatest war general with the highest Minicorian count in the whole goddamn universe, in the whole history 
of Jedi, bringing balance. What does Ray have? I'm a freaking descendant of Palpy. Bruh. Bruh, Palpy wasn't that powerful. Give me a break. Give me a break. How dare you even bring Palpy back in that kind of form? Palpy, like he's in Force Ghost, right? You can do Force Ghost like the way it's in the story. If you do Force Ghost, who constantly tries to like fight Luke and you know take him over, then that's fine. A Palpy like that? What were you thinking? You know what I mean? That, that's that's what I thought. I was just like, well, at least JJ Abrams tried to do his thing. Uh, and I'm not gonna put it on him, but if you want me to say it's great, well, yay. What the heck is this? Imagine being sent out of that there. She's like, my grandfather destroyed you. <laughs> You killed my grandfather, and now I kill you. And you train me. It's like fusion of this and that. It's like, dude, that's horrible. Horrible explanation. That's actually a lot of explanations. Yeah. So yeah, her origin was beyond me. I I could not deal with it. At the end, I was just like, I'm glad it was done. But the best, the best one she told me. Remember after that chased every everyone completely to death. What is your name? I am a Skywalker. <laughs> I'm a Skywalker. What the? F Bro, I'm done. Allow me. I'm done. Ready? I'll be the way to pull. Oh, imagine that. A Skywalker. Nothing Jesus. Doing. You're a goddamn Palpatine. Uh. See how? Unless we all sprout wings. Oh, raise the water level. Look for a control terminal. I love Adam Driver, but Color Room wasn't it. You see, Adam Driver is a great actor. I think all of them are pretty good actors. Like, you know. Um, you, you can probably say. Uh, it was the story that ultimately was too high for the likes of Disney to try to control. Right? All the actors I thought was really terrific. Wow, my hair, it really doesn't want to stay up anymore. Yeah. I thought pretty much everyone was good. Story plot? He sucked. Not just ordinary suck. Like I mean, it was sucky suck to that point. What the heck? Imagine being the guy who killed Han Solo. Everyone has beloved character. Oh my god! How many people were pissed off about that? Let's think about that. Disney has no way to talk out of it. They killed off Han Solo. Which, in my books, is the worst mistake they've ever committed, or that they could ever commit. You cannot tell me any other reason uh, and say, oh, it's fine, you know, we, we kill him because it's, it's fine, he's, he's gonna die. Worst decision ever. What the heck? Give us this little bit. Oh boy. Mm. 
Hey, I'm Ray. My foster parents abandoned me because they were just assholes, and now I realize Pelps my. I realize I'm Pelps granddaughter, so I pick in the force. So I quit already MOP. Uh, <laughs> in the ranks of looking at a kill. Oh my god. What really put everything into perspective on top is that. Well, wait for it. They thought that she was on the same as Kylo Ren. <laughs> Remember, they thought. It was more like Kylo Ren. It's like Kylo Ren has been trained by Luke and then by Snork, whatever Snork clone was. Right? <laughs> and she was good enough. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, bro. <laughs> Which fantasy are you trying to live through? Pick one. stuff color who actually have been training since he was young 30 years of training right comes in i'm already good it's been a year basic training from lucas all i needed no bro <laughs> right complete bs writing that's the way i see it complete bs writing it's like the writers were taking a massive piss at all of us and they're just like yeah that, that sounds about right you know what the actual crap. But yeah, Disney know what, you know, they know they failed epically. Not even a small measure of response could save them from the disaster that Star Wars is. But the actors themselves, they said, oh, we'll be happy to, you know, continue and make some more stories and stuff. And by then, we're all like, bro, I think that ship sailed. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's, it's done. There's no coming back. But if they do choose to make some more and expand upon it, um, I guess it's forgivable. Uh, only to a certain point. Only to a certain point. What is all this crap that I'm looking at? Some complex puzzle. Plot over here. Exactly. I tell you, I tell you, the plot armor on Ray. It's so big, I mean so big, that it's bigger than Kira Jesus Yamato from Gundam C. I I was watching Gundam C uh, in the movie, pretty much by myself. Oof. Oh, and don't even get, get me mad started that Stormtrooper ally who picked up race lightsaber and actually held his own against Kylo. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> What's his name, Finn? They say he was supposed to be a Jedi as well, or trained to be a Jedi. That's why he was able to hold a little bit. Like he was not supposed to put up a light. Kylo Ren is supposed to, you know, be the descendant of Leia. Bro. They're, they're trolling. They are trolling. Jesus, Yamato was trolling and his plot armor was one of the SSS grade. And he didn't troll that hard. But like, Jesus. Telling me... That Finn, out of nowhere, was good enough to hold his own against Kylo Ren, bro. That guy should be, like, bowing down to Kylo Ren instantly. To be like, I'm sorry, I even touched the lightsaber. Please let me go. That part. That, that was just like, wow, Kylo Ren sucks. <laughs> He's never training. He's never training a day in his life. He's just... We use a, 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 a lightsaber that has, you know, it has a hilt. And I am so lost. What the heck? What the 
help? Come on, this thing. Shall we? With me. Okay. Right. Now, right now. Oh, just pretty protects those things, man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's so easy. Kylo Ren is just your average Sith. You saw this. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about the credit. He's ever received. Don't worry that he's a descendant of Skywalker. You know? He just sucks. Anyone can hold a lightsaber. Anyone that can hold it in their hands, you're a Jedi. And you can do well against the evil forces. I am so lost right now. What the actual heck? Uh, but yeah, Disney, cancel the subscriptions. There's no coming back. I did. I was able to finish watching, um, or rather, have a catalog of my X Men '97, but I wasn't able to finish the new. Oh, so let's go. Uh, I don't know. I might have to scam. <laughs> scam from my friend. Be like, let me go and come over and watch some Disney Plus. <laughs> Come on. Uh, See the old Republic trailer? The game was too released back then. Night and day difference. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. That was a masterpiece. That was an absolute masterpiece. Like um, the one where they were in the temple and then the Sith crashed their ship. Bro. That was crazy. And then when they were like, you know, escaping from one of the starships or something, and they were throwing the lightsabers around, dude, epitome, epitome of greatness. That was singing Endor was on, dude. That, that singing Endor, that was insane. Whoever thought about that kind of cinematography knew what they were doing. Everyone wanted to play Star Wars back then, but because, oh, wait a second. But because, wow. Because WoW was too popular, he eventually died. But to the true people who played, you know, who played Star Wars for ages, knew. They knew that, like, you know, at the end of the day, it was great. What the? How do you get that? Huh? What the? Okay. That's when Jedi was portrayed as powerful with the soldiers being hacked down in an instant and they'd be terrified as well actually how Jedi and Sith should have been portrayed. Exactly. Exactly. If you see a freaking Jedi coming at you, right? If you see a Jedi coming at you, right? And they've got a lightsaber, you knew. You were dead. You were dead to rights. If you're not running, even if you did run, they're gonna have to think about how to actually, like, you know, keep you alive. Because there was no way you were running from a Jedi. Golden Collar, plus 24 to magic. I don't know if finished doing the Amethyst Collar, but alright. Woo! Hold up. More materials. Uh, I guess we can do a Vitality up. Defense and. Let's see, magic attack 20. Wow, it's all magic. Increase after being revived. Increase vengeance gauge upon successful blocking. Invigorating vengeance for source HP in vengeance mode. To plus magic. Good match. Uh, did you see the trailer of the two twins Jedi as well? Yes! I think, uh, wasn't the, <coughs> the twins and uh, of the Empire, and then they went to um, 
conquer planets because of the em of the emperor, and then eventually one of them I think lost his eye or something. Um, but it was the twins that ultimately like led to the downfall of a whole planet, dude. Dude, that one, I saw it and I was like, even I was intrigued. I was like, bro, this is a game. This isn't. This is a proper game. <laughs> the only reason that we didn't play it was because, at the end of the day, wow. <laughs> Otherwise, GG. Oh, not this no crap again. Oh, not like this. With me. Now, let it. Another gonna be, but they were, they were being taken from the parents to tell them to see it. Ready? Yeah, man. I thought that was really well done. Jealousy. Like, at his finest. What the? That's better. Ah, but who wouldn't have that kind of like a reaction, right? Everyone will have that kind of reaction if you could actually become a Jedi, if you become a Sith. There's no way. There's no way I would be a Jedi. If this was Star Wars, nah, no way. I will get my powers from the Jedi and then I will instantly turn Sith. Instantly, I wouldn't even hesitate. Come on, okay. So you're so good. Bring that kind of story writing. We are hoping too much. Hoping too much. That kind of story will only happen when Disney is like, oh man, we 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 are completely out of money. <laughs> we need to do something like that now. How the hell do I bring this thing out? I am missing something here. I'm missing something crucial. There's nothing down here. What? Is there a hook for me to muck around with? I'm stuck! I'm actually stuck! What the absolute shambolic mess is this? Jedi Survivor did the Jedi well. I'll be that kind of Jedi on the borders but living my life how I want. Exactly! Yeah, imagine the best case scenario. Remember when Samuel, the, the famous meme, when Samuel Jackson makes Windu, he's about to kill Pound, right? And Anakin Skywalker is like, you can't kill him, I need him. And he goes, look, you do me solid and I'll do you one. No questions asked later. So, Alright, just this one, what do you think? And he goes, well, will you let me marry, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Senator Amadala <laughs> and have a, settle down and have a family with her? <laughs> And he'd be like, that sounds very specific, but yes, game over. <laughs> uh, digging into the dark side from time to time to gain that extra power. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Force lightning, baby. Who would not want to throw lightning with their hands, man? I would love to throw lightning with my hands. Oh, I am stuck at this puzzle. I am so stuck on this puzzle. I have no freaking clue. Like, 
is there anything here that makes sense? There's no sound here. It, do it doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll go to the other side. Okay, okay. Nope! I can't go up that side. It does not make sense to me. I am stuck listening to this freaking water stage forever. Holy moly. What am I even stuck on? I don't get it. doesn't extend at all either can I wrap it around wait I think hang on hang on hang on oh my god my head is hurting just from this bit just from this bit my head hurts you're unobstructed oh my god are you kidding me that's what it was oh! bro I trolled myself I thought it was a little bit more like specific I was wrong my head in. Jeez. Pardon me for asking, but what do you want with this weapon thing anyway? We want it to fight alongside us. Ah, but what for? Who are you looking to use it on? Sephiroth. While we're at it, might as well take down Shin Lutu. Company again, but Sephiroth. The man's been dead for half a day. Maybe, but he's back now. And you'll be seeing him soon enough. That's the adventure of ours. Get stranger by material. the minute. No. You see 
in this. Since the plant went offline, the whole place has been filling up with Marco. And the Which M just say he's doing 90 hours of Oh my god. Take out those reactors. Wow. Wouldn't they go that far? Far? Let's get to work. Yo. Watch Marco here. Subathon, I guess, is when I officially have, like, I don't know. I don't know. When I achieve partner status on Twitch. You told them, didn't you? What? It must be me. I swear. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're a YouTube creator. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube creator. Well, well. Part YouTube partner creator, that's what it was. Jeez, can't speak anymore. That, that freaking puzzle really killed me. Scarlet! <laughs> Thank goodness I had the foresight to bring some exterminators. Oh, yuck. One of mine being captured by her. Look at the angle that we're at. Yeah. Resurrection. What the hell? There's a big one. Strength yourself by ingesting the unleashed powerful attack, inflicting enough damage after Marco. Damn, he's running like no tomorrow. Oh, 
guys. Hyper beam. Ah, oh, bro. What the? F Powder at all. Point of blank. Give me that pressure. <laughs> the dice just fell. <laughs> oh. There is when you need her. a new one cloud oh he's hey. too much I need to think. Chakra auto wouldn't need to use auto unique on her. Ah, you know what? Screw it. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. 
cool. I was thinking if I had to bloody run through the whole thing again with Tifa, I would not like that. Take the chocobos. Oh, look at these cuties. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and just in case. Good idea. Grapple Thanks. gun? It's a total mess inside the reactor. He should help you get around. You need to be careful. Don't ask me why, but my gut is telling me that something big is about to go down. Cool. And more often than not, it's right. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Look at how Ares is riding a chocolate boat. What the heck? Chocobos and Hilo came bound to the great distances. Are you serious? I have to run through it again. God damn, I hate life. I hate life. However. What in the absolute nuts? Are you serious? I didn't even see that, but sure. Ten manifestation of splendor. Okay. Why is it I can beat you now. Yeah. Oh, you won't grab me. Damn, I'm right here. Right underneath here. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. Have to make us do the do the wrong way first, huh? Do the hard way. It's like ah yes, that's the only way you can cross around here. Eh. Eh. That was so fast. That was so fast. Shinra. What the hell? Kiku. Rolling up a car. Man, plenty for so cool. So what do we do now? Take the chopper. Now we climb. What? L2 grapple. Oh my dear lord. Cool. So now red hooks. This is just a straight one because we've done everything already. 
Okay. Not being able to face anything sucks, especially when you're greedy. Oh okay, well, yeah. We know that. Dude, I had pneumonia. And I caught COVID Delta. I couldn't taste anything. And I mean anything. <laughs> when I caught COVID, when I recovered. I, I will say this. Not with grappling guns, really? Yeah, I everything tastes super salty. Super salty. Like, Mrs. ordered some Maccas for me because I was dying for a freaking cheeseburger. <laughs> the chips was insane. The chips, I was the only one that found uh, that found it super salty, and they were like, "Dude, it's it's fine. It's not that bad." And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Because what I can smell is like horrible. What I can smell, what I can taste. What the hell? I don't even know what the hell I'm grappling onto. There we go. Oh, COVID was the worst. What I could taste. Uh, I bought the family back of KFC straight away, wasted no time. <laughs> Respect. Respect. It had to happen. Reverse scale. I actually think reverse scale is better. Chi trap. Oh! Very nice. stuff increase attack 5% 10% KFC is different are you a POE Path of Exile the new season came out recently right I am a fan of it but I never played enough of Path of Exile to be called a huge fan <laughs> I should though Path of Exile is it's actually the greatest Diablo 2 ever made. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I should, but... Atrocity, HP, recovery... Oh man, that's this is harsh. This is harsh. Yo, what up, Mitch? I actually feel like I should be playing a lot more stuff, especially like Path of Exile. Uh, when I'm actually feeling like I should be playing some Diablo, right? But because because I I don't know, Diablo Two did a number on me. And already played as much as I could. I'm ready for you. Bro, I could not do any more. Uh -huh. Don't think you'll walk away from this. No more. It's over. Yeah, there. Damn, Tifa is good. One more shot. Yeah. Ha. Ah, Uh, stop you not honestly to answer the question when to put you in the correct ranks and not to be in my rank and go against master of the time because they haven't got the ranks yet. Oh lol! <laughs> That's fair. I don't know man, I, I want to play some more Pokemon Unite, but I uh, haven't had the chance to even think about it. I don't know. Might just have to put it on the back burner for now, later and play some more Pokemon Unite. It's a great game. I'm gonna say it right now, it's it's actually really good. 
um, and I have been missing out on uh, all, all the act latest action that Pokemon Unite has brought. Uh, being full creator of it, I'm not sure, but I will create a few stuff. Um, maybe a few more, few months down the track when Pokemon Unite is ready for the real stuff. Of course, Tifa is good. Oh yeah, Tifa is. What what we call? <laughs> Damn it, I don't have a sis. Who's got a sis? Hang on. Don't die. Damn it, I killed it. Uh, for a Switch game, it's great. One of the best Switch was on PC. Right? Anything is better on PC. I don't even know who wants to argue that one, but like anything that can be on PC and optimized for PC gaming will always be better on PC. It's just the superior platform. I this this puzzle man. Holy Jesus. Holy crap, what the hell just happened? This grapple gun is OP! <laughs> Not because it's good for getting around. There's only one good thing about it. And that is the angle. Is it that bad the only problem is against the hat? Ladies FF4 14 online. Yep. That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh! Okay. Oh, oh my god. Jeez, almost died. Where, where is you? Look at how she does it. Look at look at all this. <laughs> range. You feast range. <laughs> it's stupid. You can literally just do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You never even played the original FF7. Dude, you, you missed out. The original FF7. Jeez! Jeez! I mean, if you do want to play, you have to play with the Seventh Heaven mod right now. And that will be, like, you know, pretty good as well, but... I don't know, you might as well just start playing FF7 Integrate first, you know, to play it. Uh, the original FF7 it's not for the faint-hearted. If you want to play and finish everything properly, you'll have to go through multiple uh, gameplay. Uh, and the biggest thing is that you have to make sure that you are, you know, preparing yourself for multiple wipes. Uh, it's not long enough. Not this again. Error. Insufficient power. Uh. Oh, boy. And then this is Chi Trap. Oh, uh, yeah, she is Chi Trap. That's it. She feels me to like a crazy person. Oh, so quick. He's uh, telling, telling me to move to all these different locations. Oh my good lord. Yeah. Okay. I 
think we're getting somewhere. There's a hook over there. Okay. I have to say, this puzzle is actually killing my head. Never thought I would say an FF7 puzzle is killing my head. This actually killed me a little bit. Since when is Final Fantasy a hardcore game? Final Fantasy 7 is the biggest biggest load of mini games. And in this one, they play to that strength. It's just mini games galore. The old FF7 also had a lot of mini games and they replicated pretty much all of them into this. I wanted to be that pole. Yep. Never thought I would say it, but I want to be that pole. What the hell? I will have given up. <laughs> Where else did that <laughs> Uh, hello, German Switch. Hello. It's like the thought of having of having T4 wrapping for Alexa right? and sliding down. Life accomplished. It's so dark. How the hell is anyone supposed to see, bro? What the heck? Whoa! Like playing this game, you have to adjust your eyes sometimes. Contact. We got the two for the right here might have been low. Oh boy. Damn man. Movement is so fluid. So fluid. I should actually do a run of FF7 original with some mods to make it look really exciting and really good. To catch up to modern graphics. Really should. Seriously though, they need to get rid of this, like, some of this grappling, it's nonsense. So let's prove what you saw. I'm huh? Can you take over for me? Can Okay, love you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got stunned. Oh! I'll show you what I can do. Oh, I was about to throw. Whoa! Take this one for you. You've got this. I'm your one thing. Oh! You good? I got you. Fox flame. Where's decent? Wait, Ninja Bazooka? Where's Ninja Bazooka? You good? I'm in. Huh? Ready? I got you. Oh. You Ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> you became a member on, on YouTube, dude. Really? Dude, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Champion status on YouTube. I only had it up not long ago. I was actually supposed to do a video and promote it, but since the community is still growing, I haven't really thought about anything. I was just like, yeah, it was just, just we'll just quickly create that, and then we'll get to the video 
when we hit like you know a thousand a thousand subscribers on YouTube or something. But much appreciated, bro, dude. Much appreciated. Oh, my eyes. Finally, at the right place now. She trapped. <laughs> <laughs> I need to actually do a heist of her. Spinning actually feels good. Oh, come on, take a seat. My suit. My suit. Should I do more cleanse? Cleanse actually seems quite good. But back then we used to do Berserk on yourself and you can't control one of your characters but he does a ton, a ton of damage for no reason. Take a seat on me instead Tifu, I mean what? <laughs> oh yeah, 100%, 100%. Imagine Tifu is real in real life, it's like oh I need a seat. And he'd be like yeah take a, feel free to take a seat right on me, you know what? <laughs> and she'd be like what? And he'd be like what? <laughs> how you rizzo. If anything, you need to dye your hair blonde, which you already have blonde, just spike it up and have a big sword and say whatever to everything. She will instantly say, yes sir, we're in. <laughs> oh yeah, superhero landing. Oh hey, god damn, look at those bazookas. I can't aim for six shots to still missed. You all right? The three of us are. Is Optimus Prime so big enough? That should be big enough. <laughs> now make her to say whatever to everything she says. So how are you doing? Whatever. You wanna have dinner? Whatever. She'd be like, I am so good. <laughs> oh my that? god. Yeah! For your wrinkly high, why not take us on? We'll go easy on you. Promise. Look at those Wolverine claws. <laughs> Booba. My sweet Booba, baby. Booba. A person's That's what I'm talking about. And beneath me. Dude. Foolishly, come back into Fallout 76. My life is no more. Why would you play Fallout 76? Why? What the nanny the hell? Okay, let's assess. Destroying the weapons on both arms will allow to attack, knocking her out with pressure. Okay. Static shock. Yeah, this is a Yuffie battle, so hard. Oh, 
she can switch to lighting the jitsu. Oh my god. That is OP. Man, I, I need... I need her to give me something else. Damn. Alright. It's alright. We'll spam static shot. I mean, that's the only thing we can do. If she had haste. Holy crap. She will destroy this. The raids are actually fun. I expect that better. I expect a better from you. <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> uh, that's a fair call. That's a fair call. <laughs> Hey yo, I've I've went back to some games that I'm not proud of. Just because. Just because. Yeah, she builds meter like a freak! I need an MMO in my life, and there's nothing out there. We, we just need Pokemon. Now, can we? No joke, we just need Pokemon. We didn't need to do anything else, just give us a proper Pokemon game. It's that wouldn't be more than enough. Something to grind while I'm dying. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. You know what we need? We need a dive game. That's what we need. A game completely for MMO diving. Imagine that. Oh, I think I can go to Tifa now. Nope, no I can't. Synergy, Cyclone Kid. Okay. Whoa! That was sick! Can I do no ninjutsu? Well staggered, resistant. Oh, well, I guess, I guess that's fine. Oh my god, ow. Oh my god, what am I, what am I doing? Who's got the better summon? Chocobo and Moogle. Uh, wait. Wait a second. What? I can't use Bop Off? Huh? I just got completely destroyed. Oh my god! Die, die, die. No way. 
Jeez. Triple the right bullet, okay? Coming to you. Brand want to grow on. Ow. Okay, I mean I might as well summon it. Might as well. Divine Punishment. Okay. This is a terrible, terrible angle. Crocodile kick. Okay, we're good. That's why Tifa's the best. Yuffie, you okay? We're fine. Just go. Don't let that hag get her grubby mitts on my materia. <laughs> what was Emerald Weapon? Emerald Weapon was Magic All. And then uh, Ruby Weapon was Summon All. Um, and then I think Diamond Weapon was Defeated, so you didn't get anything. I think. Um, but in the Japanese version, you get more. And Ultima weapon was Ultima. You just get Ultima. I think I can't remember. It was crazy. There was so much secrets in this game and so much stuff that you could do. And now I'm playing solo as Yuffie. Are you joking me? Okay. Learn some manners. Whoa. Oh. Keep off. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Lie like the gnat you are. Did she just come out with gnat? Whoa. Just anger guide you. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Badass moment. Well, withdraw. Oh, no. Meanwhile, at least Scarlet knows that you know, it's all lost. It's like there's too much crap happening. Stabby stab. Stabby stab. <laughs> Cloud, stop. That's enough. Oh my 
my god, please let me one on one. Oh, one on one cloud with my Tifa. Cloud, don't let her fool you. She has no scar. You have no scar. <sighs> She's not Tifa. You're not Tifa. You can't be. Uh -oh. We've been over this. I do have a scar. I showed you, remember? Liar. Oh boy. Oh yes. All right. Look. Those we hate. Those we love. Those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this. Oh. God, emerald weapons down there. Oh wait, he's okay. Out of the frying pan. Into the oven. She's she's speeding. She speeds finally. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tifa. He realizes. Jump down, you fool! Tifa! Bro! Bro! I don't remember this part. Tifa. I don't remember this part. Pumpkin. Wait a minute. Multiple weapons? Multiple emerald weapons? What? What is this? There's a male and a female? What? Swimming it? Oh, I can see where I am. I, I can't do anything else. I can move the camera a little bit. L2, R2. Okay. the 
whispers? Fighting? Where... Where are we? This is so strange. The live stream? This is cool. Oh, there's a city here. Wait. Pass of the city. Aha. Uh -huh. This is called home. Light ball. This is Cloud Wing. Hey, look! Think Cloud wants to come through? When he first came. Cloud? <laughs> and he ran! Come on! Let's go! Okay, he followed. Lol. <laughs> Cloud. Is this... Am I dying? Try to relieve. Try to relieve all the memories, everything. The promise. Just promise me one thing. When we're older and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just one. Mm -hmm. I don't... What is this? What is this? Yeah, they're at the bridge here. She's gonna get her memory back. Okay. Oh, she's getting real. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Kill him. Absolutely destroying emerald weapon. <laughs> Sorry, it's only one of the arms.
Stay strong, Tifa. Damn it, Tifa, wake up! Wake up! Oh my god! You'll make it. But not if you give up. You have to want it. Fight for it. Hard as you can. You need to get up now, Tifa. You can't die here. Too many still depend on you. Tifa! Come back to us, Tifa. We've got a fight to finish. <laughs> oh my god. This cutscene is crazy. how everything gets animated and rendered with your current equipment it's a terrific job <sighs> can't see anything down there Camera weapon? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> Tifa? Barrett! Coming! Wake up! Hey, get your shit together. Tifa needs you. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Real, real people, man. I mean, like real writing. Look at us. I was like full destroyed. It's like, I killed Tifa. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you feel like my materia. <laughs> Good luck down there. GG. Hey, Tifa, stay with us. I wonder how there was two emerald weapon. There was only one. Maybe Sephiroth kills one, and then there's one left. I mean, that could be it. But that was that was a hell of a chapter. Get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. 
You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine. And know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Who said that? No! God damn it! <laughs> oh, worried about little old me? Aye, that's right. Worried. Come on! Sorry! <laughs> Did she say tell me after? Bro, this game is so advanced. Oh! That look is so advanced. Wow. Wow. I feel like going back there, turning off my camera, just, you know, to record that part. Tifa is... Oh, she is so good. Oh. Obtain Bird of Prey. Thank God I got a new weapon. Four point shuriken, finally done. Bird of Prey, plus seven, minus three magic, doppelganger. Conjure a clone. Mimics your action? Finish off an enemy while the clone is present. Wow. That's an insane, insane amount of stuff. Critical rate, 100%. And then critical key damage. Damn. So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? <laughs> this is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. 
She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. Oh yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow, what have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of Planet Oh my god, Yuffie, look That's at that right leg spread. The corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in, like all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we can. Say no more! Let's ride, people! <laughs> wow, Raj, what's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. Sister has been pretty good. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. Oh. He can take you part of the way. Oh yes! Use the south gate and follow the trail. It's sit time. Can't miss it. And I should. <laughs> this here is Spango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Disney, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, I lost grappling dog. God damn it. Just ask around the village. One second, guys. I need to actually post a link because I just realized my video is out. <laughs> one second, one second. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> Should I say what? Oh, you know, it's so bright. We should probably Jesus. take a look at the place you noticed for. See if there Those are any jobs work? for us. Always fancy trying my hand as a cloud. As a reminder, analyzing life springs may help you. You should make an effort to seek out more of them if you wish to obtain new formulas. Hmm. I wish you all the best hey, in your ongoing you know, hunt for world intel. Don't forget to try some of it. It's free time, boys.
Let's see. I'm looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior to help me reach my full potential. And state of the chicken coop, pack full of holes. Side quest. Okay. Manageable. Um, grab my hands quest, and then this. Oh, it's actually not that hard. Chicken coop. Oh, chicken, we're out though. For now, at least. Oh, wow. She looks freaky. For a minute. Not really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, flapping and running around like crazy. Oh, I we'll have to woman. fetch chicken. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Oh, God. Wait, they love the sound of this here clan. Chicken feed. Use it oh. and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose. Not even the hell well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching oh, the surrounding area. Bruh. Okay. Press up to feed the clanger to lure the chicken back to Kazra. Move slowly, move backwards as you pull the clanger. Oh my! Are you kidding me? Give them the proper love and care. The longer you leave these fields, there's a chicken. There. It got away. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Come here. <laughs> what a quest. Okay, I thought I, I thought that I did that incorrectly, and you ran. All right, that's one chicken. Check out! There, there you go. Over there. If the chicken gets distracted, stop moving and wait for it to focus. Dun, 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 dun. They actually tell you you have to do extra stuff, so you have to actually do some more extra reading and play with some skills. Wow, just a tiny little bit, not not a lot of skills. No. Oh my God, what are you doing with the chicken? Well, you know, according to South Park episode, you know exactly what we do with the chicken. <laughs> We're catching the chicken. <laughs> oh dear. Look at the chicken. The chicken's like, give me my feed. Come here. Come here. No. Did you play South Park Snow yet? Not yet. Not yet. I do have it on download. I think at the end of the day, I'll play a little bit and then most likely refund. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know about... I don't know about it just yet. I love South Park, the game. Um... But yeah. We shall see what happens. So what are you then? I'm Kate Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. He says K Sith himself. What the heck? 
Oh, where's Rift 13? I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. Oh, there he is. Yeah. South Park, um, the, the whole buff fracture, or whatever. When the chicken is about to charge the fee, press L2 to get it back. Oh my god. Yeah, the fracture butthole, that was a fun game. And then also South Park the Stick of Truth, that was also another fun game. Snow Day, apparently it's a super downgrade and a and a game that people are not taking lightly to. So I don't know. <laughs> no. No. Look at that chicken. If we try to charge me. Crap. I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! Get away! Her meh things about it? Yeah. Those meh things are probably right about it. If I show you the steam review, it's not very... It's not very light. Goodness me! I don't know, man. South Park. <sighs> the first two games was amazing. I think the Stick of Truth is one of the best I've played. Because it's tactical, it's fun, it's witty, it's unhinged. And, you know, when I heard that there was going to be more, um, you know, obviously I was pretty happy. But who knew Snow Day was a shooter that was boring. It's a shame because the Stick of Truth and Fracture Buffalo was... Exactly. Those two games... Are some of the best things ever. Ever. You can't even like change anything about it. They're just that good. Rodeo Poncho. Ooh. Cowboy. We'll take that. Catch you later. Hey there. You treating your chocobos right? Uh, they're so funny. Yeah. yeah you, <laughs> remember how when they like talk to you and they're like, <laughs> it's like, oh, dude, you suck. You know what I mean? Like, Karma's voice over, like, the, the stuff that he says. It's so, so funny. What are free it's so funny. Exactly? And Karma's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs at you and stuff when you do something right. And then when you suck at something, he just literally trolls you, dude. Best of times. What the heck? There's more chickens? For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. I think I finished Stick of Truth on stream. I think. At least I think I know. That's a long way back to town. Careful now. Are you kidding me? I have to lure this chicken all the way back? Yo, this quest suck. I better get some like amazing freaking ugh, freaking material for this. Holy smokes. What the? Are you serious? Ready? Too bad. Gross pressure over time. Okay. That's me. You ready? Okay. 
Grab it. He understands chicken talk. What? He understands chicken talk? Hey! You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? <laughs> More or less. You speak chicken? They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Oh my god. Speak chicken. Now now I've seen it all. Okay. Now that's done. <laughs> he he definitely speaks bok bok, I tell you that now. Is, is the man of the hour. The Bok Bok man. Oh, there's the other quest. Hmm. I don't know. Chocobo is nice to have. But they're sort of like... Meh. However... A buggy is the best. Teach me, Great Warrior. Okay. Oh. Um... Since you're here... I need your help. To become a true warrior. Please. Guide me to greatness. I'm Sotetsu, by the way. With the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know. Telling everyone how you turned <laughs> some like, state-of-the-art huh? Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? <laughs> okay. He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, oh, though. Boy. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. No can do. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! <laughs> Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Oh, calm down there, guy. <laughs> Can you cycle? Meet me over there when you're ready. Four. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Oh my god. Hey! Come along. See what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> Don't tell me we have to protect the dude. I see a health bar. Oh boy. 
probably like level 1, trying to challenge a level 12 or 13, gets my shot. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, I wish she was a ninja warrior my must teacher. be able to make a tactical retreat back to her <laughs> Oh, <combat> Tiger! <laughs> Understood, Master. And then you're gonna tell me, is... <laughs> Tim Wong here! <laughs> Very well. Then with that, oh, bro. I've lost dead. it. Uh... I hope you're staying focused, my young disciples. Please, teach me a way, Master. Help Sotis to strike enemy for You're up. You rank? Do it. Okay. His attack was. Are you serious? Okay, I have to retry. We'll get them next time. Retry, okay. I'm dying for how dare you! <laughs> Halt, fiend. Uh, you, you know what I mean! <laughs> how the hell do you pressure an enemy? No more. Go on. Elemental weakness? All right, fire, fire, fire. Let's try just the wildfire. Okay, cool. Pressure. Oh, come on. Yes, thank you. Welcome, if was already down. Oh, that's the infrared way. <laughs> Let's just say, at least you put him down for good. You know, ever heard of double tap? Come <laughs> on. No if this wait. was a zombie world, double tap, triple tap, and talking about double tapping, zombie land, what a freaking movie. I remember back then when we were all watching it, none of us wanted to watch a scary like zombie movie because it was just disgusting. You know? And my, one of my best friends said, we're watching zombie land. Trust me. I was like, why? Everyone's like, why? You know, and it's like, trust me, trust me. I even went out to rent the DVD. We have to watch it now. I was like, oh, okay. Bye. You know, we will go there. We, we will, we will do it, right? And we watched it. Holy crap! Double tap was that was something. You're up. How the hell is supposed to stagger someone here? Please don't die. He's gonna die. Right. Those movies were great. Emma Stone is hot. Emma Stone was freaking amazing in that movie. I'll train as long as it takes. Uh. All right, let, let's try staggering. But yeah, that now, that movie was through. something else. Show me how it's done. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. the Oh, yeah, but you're together. Oh my god, Cloud, please stop. Don't catch a cold. Get him. That it. Uh, how does how does that work? Look at the pressure! What the hell? Not even say it's not a hundred. What the hell? I got worse. That was worse. Please, master. Let me try again. This is a dynamic mode. 
they're supposed to level with me. They're not supposed to die. Now, strike swift and true. Show me how it's done. <laughs> it's all Blizzard. It is all Blizzard. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they're waiting for ambush or pressure. <laughs> No, I turned into a goddamn frog. Oh, maybe this will work in my favor. I need you to. I need to do. Oh, come on, man. This one's for you. I need to pressure you. No, don't stop, 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 stop killing it. Ah, ah, oh, real man. I'm too powerful for this. Can you believe it? I'll train as long as it takes. Meanwhile, I'm a mess. Pressure enemy twice. I need to do a now strike swift and true. A blizzard. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, we'll do snow flurry. There's pressure. What about you? Ah. And then there's no flurry. Okay, please don't die. I just need to. Accept. He's taking too much damage. Hang on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just need to build meter. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Finish it. I've got this. Wow. So, Emma, I know you're disgusted by my playing first and this but wait till I tell you guys yours. We've been playing a little bit of Destiny 2! Okay, let's keep up the pace. And you tell me to. You, you ask me not to hate you? Destiny 2! Fallout 76 wasn't bad enough. S Destiny 2! This is only your first step on the long and winding road to oh, Oh, I couldn't even utter the words. The filth. The absolute filth. How did you even think about this? With me. Oh my god. Deal with that. Follow me. How could you, man? I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Let's do this. It's on now. You're done. Hang on. Let, let me finish this. I'm, I'm too disgusted <laughs> to think about this right now. Way too disgusted. Fallout 76. We already went there to explain that it wasn't healthy. And now you tell me Destiny 2. The game is how old, how outdated, and how abandoned 
and how much did it kill the community when they killed it themselves they killed their own freaking product might as well say it can't get any worse we're having a little bit of this say fun playing it we need a talk we need a talk not just a normal talk i mean like a talk you need to get your psyche completely checked because I don't believe you're, this is the right jammers. I mean, you have a head call that you explain. I'm assuming this is related to it. I'm gonna give it to you and say, oh, a dad talk? Oh, sure. It's like, son, the game you play sucks. Don't be a loser. <laughs> don't go there. You know, to be honest, I actually said that to my own song. <laughs> I said, your game suck. The games you play suck. Play something more amazing. So, like, you know, our home is filled with amazing games. And we you play Roblox? You made it? <sighs> I hope that I won. Actually, my boy is very right. sensitive. He actually accepted. So, for the next round. I installed this game. Let me show you. I think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told uh, me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. I installed this body. on his phone. And mind. You know what game we're talking Start. about? By training. You're behind. <laughs> like go He's deeper. got Pokemon Blue, Pokemon mark. Yellow, Pokemon glutes, Crystal, and, your quads. and Pokemon TCG. Got it. <laughs> when your son's old enough, I'll summon convinced to play uh, Destiny 2 and follow 76, best game ever. Lol. <sighs> Bro, that, that's, that's rough. That's rough. Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he listens. Imagine he listens. Oh my goodness. What the? Get back. Not today. Oh my. Oh my. Best do it right. Fire, explain the weakness. Come on, come here. Keep it up. Now. No big deal. Oh, wow. Call the fire. Come on. Man, I am getting destroyed. Feeling good. Let me see if I can cast slow on them. Take it easy. Do it. I don't see the slow really being utilized by sure. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I'm here. Yeah, not bad. Go on. Nice. Come here. Come here. Do it. Come on. Keep up. Honestly, he didn't seem that bad. Oh, oops. Oh my god. When did you install that? This is a emulator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I installed it literally like two days ago. I was like, oh yeah. It's time for me to like, you know, show my son the real game. 
the real game. And he, he was like, oh, what is that? And I was like, it's a good game. Do you want to play? Because he always wins Roblox, I'm not sure. And catch a fence. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure if you really want to do that. And he goes, yes, I do. I was like, okay. And here we are. Take the lead. You can do it. Hang back. <laughs> Let's finish this. You're as good as dead. Dude, we're asking, dude, I am using a. I'm I'm using a S23 Ultra. Don't even need that. Don't even need that. You just see sort of APK and you're good. We actually won. Wow. All that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it! I've got an idea! See you back at the village! Ah! Uh, hello! What about my materia? <laughs> Roblox? <laughs> Roblox? Nani? Oh my god, I actually f came all the way down here. Might as well get myself this. Hang on. Apparently, I was toxic in my new video to the first guy. Now I need to. Now I need to see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Hang on. Let's take a breather. So this is. Hang on a second. I need to unmute. Alright, let me see, let me see why. Now I need to analyze why I was toxic. Apparently because I corpse kicked him. Okay. Okay. If that first hit, second hit as well, is that guaranteed? Why do I feel like it's guaranteed? Bro, he's like DB3 cool. like no tomorrow. Cool. Oh! The amount of lows. Well, well, well. Uh, 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 uh. The, the amount of lows. The amount of lows. Hang on a second. Hang on. Now I need to know. Oh my shoulder. Oh what? Charge. Hey, that's a shame. Hiya! <laughs> what do you mean? He DP3 me! How many DP3s wow. he had lows did he throw? Wow! <laughs> he threw a whole bunch! Well then, we'll take one of those. I screwed ah. up there and he, he loaded. I even saw it coming! Why did I just jump for it? Okay. Ah. I was in stance. DP3 again? Bro, he db 3 me like no tomorrow. Pure nose, cool. I like it. I like it. He says, I don't care. Uh. Oh my god. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I should have died here, by the way. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a shame. Never mind. We know about Never the back mind. one, We're, we're still looking. One is Fang's, one of Fang's best tools. Still looking. Nice. Oh, -hoo -hoo! that is wild. I don't know, cool. man. It's still DB3. Nice. The guy's DBing through me like no tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Maybe he's under the wrong impression that I was playing oh. Fang instead. Oh, you see? You piece of crap! Okay. I don't know how that was... What? I don't know how... I don't know. I don't know why that was not good. Oh 
Hang on. Let me let me close this window. And respawn. You hear you rage quit on me. In my opinion, the first guy I play, you corpse kicked. You were so toxic and you were just rude to him. That's why he rage quit. <laughs> okay, let's respawn. Um, I was the Azucena, not the Fang. Uh, if you were referring to the DB DB3 that he constantly threw, <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what you mean. Oz is not the Fang. If you're referring to the DB3 that the Fang kept on throwing, then that would be. <laughs> that, that, that will be it. Uh, because I have. Because I don't know what the corpse kick was. By the way, he. By the way, I don't know how I was being rude to him as it was a, a online ranked match. We went in comps. I don't know. I don't know. The first guy you played, you corpse kicked. You were toxic and you were just rude to him. That's why he rage quit. That's, but that's my opinion only, bro. I'm not sure. Oh no, don't, don't respond, that's where it all starts. No, no, but the thing is, if I was being toxic, I would like to know, but... I have no idea. I have no idea, like, what's corpse kick? I didn't corpse kick him at all, I was literally just doing this thing. There's no arguing with this kid, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, we'll just take the L. <laughs> I, I already responded to that one, but I'll, I'll, I liked it. Put it like that. We liked it. <laughs> oh God! Imagine he comes back. He's like, Dad, someone, someone killed me. He's like, you know, someone, someone be toxic to me. I don't know, man. It's, it's rank match. The thing threw a whole bunch of DB3 on me, and I was just like, Oh, kid, okay then. He, he threw like. I don't know, I counted over 10 in just like two rounds. Ah, uh, but who knows, man. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. There's a secret gym. Nani the hell? Oh, I can fast travel here. Cool. Uh, ah, doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. This is a secret gym. What? Oh, there's a tower here. That's good. We can just jump down for that tower. I'm assuming you have to jump there. Okay. How to jump down here? Uh, uh -huh. How do I get up there? What the hell? Don't tell me I have to find a I have to find a way to bounce up. Oh dear lord.
to play with the most. And I found the Moogles as well. Uh, since we're here with the Moogles. There's so much. There's so much to do. Every time you go to any brand new thing. Any brand new area, bang. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? The clock is ticking due to a new time limit. It's a four minutes timer. Okay. Jeez. Get into the wrench. Get in. Moala. Mulu. Get in there. And now after this, Mulala, Mulala, come in, Mulala. the banana peel okay cool I was about to drop my controller be like yes so much, <sighs> thank you so much for gathering all the mooglets Koopo after Mog and Mag is that oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. Uh, Welcome, Koopo. What can we get from here? Way of the Fist. Way of the Unfortunate Untold. Cool. Okay, Sif and Tifa. Level up boost material. I don't know, I, I feel like I don't need this because I've got two and also that, you know, we like to grind. Um, give me one second, I need to use the bathroom really quickly. I will be right back, I will be right back.
Here we go. Okay. Now it was this that I wanted. Um, and I needed to climb something to, to, to get to that stupid pad. What? How do you get there? Like, is there a way to get up that way? No, there isn't. So confusing. This part is so confusing. Supposedly you can get up there. Okay. What about this way? No! That's buggy, cool. How do we get up there specifically? There's no way to climb that. Come on, get up there. Aha! Uh -huh. You climb, ZK, you climb! Actually, really wanting to heal up. This whole time I haven't healed. Rest of the thing is just being one health. It's like, bro, <laughs> am I even alive to you? stuff up. No, I didn't. I... Wait, maybe I did stuff up. Hang on. No, I didn't. I'm good. Do this one and then followed by is there a pad for this one? Fiend Intel. Okay. The tower is this way. Red brings. Wait, what's this?
Why is this so cool? Observation tower, oh boy. Oh. Wait, there's nothing here? That's new. Should be up here. Is you get through with a pad? Oh, you're joking me. I'm so sick of these pads. No. Jump up from here. Okay, should be through here. have some eyes back and then more red glares they need to stop doing that the red glare is really ah it really kills the eyes They're all close to each other. Thank God for that. Let's see. Battle here. Can get the car relatively easily. That's fine. And then this one will reveal the rest. This is the two quests. This is for Kuja. I have to circle around and I'll go to... Do I? Okay, that seems like a good idea. I can just jump there. There you go. That's not a bad plan. I'm 
Not a bad plan at all. For this party level thing, this is crazy. Okay, quite close to the finish, and then we go chocolate over here, bounce or not towards the challenge, which is this way. I'm so far from that challenge, lol. Uh, how do we get there? am I missing this part there's no pads Pilot, uh, this is where we get Sid. But I want to do that challenge. How the heck will we get there? Oh, this looks promising. Maybe. That. I need to somehow get there. Hang on. Ah, oh, perfect. Stagger and pressure. Monster territory now. Attacking twice while guarding will counter attack. Okay. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Stagger, okay. Well fought. 
Stagger, stagger, stagger. How to stagger? Rare grand horn variant detected. Fire. Commencing guidance protocol. Grand horns are peaceful creatures, which use their claws not for combat, but for other things. Now, during mating, they're off. Keep it up. That's annoying. Let's do a chocobo stop so I can heal my MP. I feel like I never get enough. Uh, whoops. Cushion. Yeah. Cause it's dirty. Down here. Jump there. Ready or not, chips, here we come. Jump down. How can they jump down and I can't? What? There we go. Let's a pair of throttle wrist guards. A riot vest. Sorcerer earring Cetra Talisman. It's behind there. Okay. Yeah, much craft. Your head has to be in the right place. Exactly in the right place. Do it! Your hands crucibles. Huh. You actually need this stuff? You actually can't say no? See what can transmute. Make a pot. Perfect. Miss make a pot. Adrenaline. Planet's mercy. Don't have any of that. High ether.
Wow. Whoa! Planet's cosmic or adrenaline needs planet's mercy. Planet's mercy. Planet's favor. Yeah, I got plenty of this. That's, that's fine. Giga potion. Baobab wood. Nope. Chromite ore. Nope. Some enhanced stuff. Enhanced crucible armor. Cetra Talisman Spirit by 10% and max 6 MP Hmm That's not bad Wow Wow! I actually feel like I can have better stuff now. Enhanced Witch's Omelet is better. Yeah, it's better. Wow. Yeah. If only there was more time material. Jeez. What I could do. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Actually, need to, I need to make more. Wow. Damn it. I don't have enough ancient buck. Okay, we'll come back for that ancient buck. Oh, there's a combat fiend intel here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then hand in. And then somehow make that eight. What is my missing? I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch for no reason. Next to us, or not? Nani? How the hell do I get in there? Jump here? I actually feel like there's so much on this map that's all hidden away. I 
I feel like this might be the right way. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Huh? What the expedition six intel? I am so lost. I am so lost. I have no idea. Uh, it used to be that way. To get through this pipes, I think. Oof. Go through the pipes. How the heck? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my god, chocolate ball. Do the thing that you were meant to do. And then it was this way. I was wrong. I was wrong. Wrong pad. I can't control where I'm going. Jump towards this one. What the heck? I honestly don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm so lost right now. Right I am. Completely lost. How the heck did I get there? It's not that way. I give up. <laughs> I give up. Hang on, let's, let's go hand in. Might as well. Might as well. This side quest really do, do, does do your head in. Enjoy your stay with us. Your efforts have you... Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? Yes, sir. Magic focus. This one. Petrify and magic. I need to buy more time material. Time material is OP. So many fascinating possibilities. Okay, so. Where's my handy quest? Make way. Make, Make way, way for the cows! What? It was down there. to be reunited with you in this place they call home. They eventually to be eaten. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous <laughs> grilled chicken. Say goodnight, Pippily. Hello? And it's got chicken. Oh, oh lol, we actually ate it. I don't think I've ever met such nice young people.
people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. <laughs> they could have lived long and happy lives running free. Lol. If I hadn't. Well, we all gotta eat? Oh. <laughs> what a quest! What a quest! Wow! That's so wrong. That's so wrong for Rift 13. What a dilemma. So, we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Not interested. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> it looks like Hawkeye. If you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your Isn't game, is this from Crisis Pool? I actually forgot. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well, sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry, I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just, I felt something when we first met, almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Okay. Perfect. Cloud, Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all. Nice. But you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? <laughs> Three orbs, or two! Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Just one, dude! Oh, God. Alright, alright, alright. I'll save it here. Alright, cool. So, I did say it was going to be a long and late stream, but little did I think I was going to go 7 hours and 20 minutes into the abyss. Pretty much coming into 2 a.m., well, 1.40 a.m. for me. I still need to get some stuff adjusted, take a shower and sleep. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow to do another long stream. Who knows how long I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be doing pretty hard, uh, pretty hardcore going through it. So... Um, a big massive thank you to Sip Nation uh, for coming in. Abdul Rahman, thank you to um, thank you to Max, thank you to 3XDRQC4WC4. I have no idea who you are, but thank you. Um, thank you to Jammers, thank you to Mitch for coming in. Whew, GG's, my head is, is exploding, definitely hurting. Thank you to Yuki for also joining me. But that's going to be it for today's stream. I will be back tomorrow to do some more. Uh, if you do want to see some more action, there is the brand new YouTube that's now out. Uh, and yeah, feel free to go around, have a, have a mark around. And until in about eight hours time, I'll catch you then. This is Everything Get Sunny Off. Peace.